Northern America, good morning, India and uh, Far East. Hope you're having a great Saturday there and uh, a nice uh, Friday evening. My name is Ash Mufara. I'm the same guy that will literally and completely change your life uh, sooner than you think. I am very, very excited to be with you tonight because I have uh, a few uh, sweet updates. Uh, that's what I do. Thank you so much for your, your time and attention here. I believe this has to be the record Minu and Ron show. Crushed the records. That's what we do. But uh, I'm going to get going. Uh, there are 29, nine, 29, I think, 29. Roughly, yeah, 30 questions or so uh, that I, I'm going to shoot to address them, but it's a long shot. We'll see. Okay. Uh, smart people, good questions. I will try to roughly go over those and see how far we can go. Before we do that, uh, I believe, uh, so Michael Ellis, I, I heard you don't think people are here waiting to hear about the forecast and Colorado weather. What do you think they're here to listen to? I think they're here for the main show, Ash. And I, I think I think you just came on. Fantastic. OK, well, uh, I'm here and uh, I, uh, I think I, I gave a glimpse if you didn't get a chance to hear uh, on Passive 360 yesterday, uh, we talked about how sometimes unplanned things happen uh, in your uh, business or your strategy. Uh, in many cases, they turn, they turn out to be a little bit better, if not uh, dramatically better than what you hope for. Uh, so we're having a great, I had to mute everyone just to make sure everybody can talk when it's their turn so we can keep a good background but uh, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I always say it's good to be here. But truthfully, a few times in my life, I said that and they were not that good places. But yeah, tonight it is a good place to be in. So I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I wasn't very happy to be in other places. Anyway, uh, I'm happy to be here. Seriously, wow, amazing places. I haven't seen a few faces in a while, but we are going to talk about uh, not so much challenges tonight. What we're going to talk about solutions as um, what I believe good leaders focus on possibilities and hope over limitations and uh, pretty much, you know, challenges. So, yeah, that is a nature, the nature of life and nature of business to have those obstacles and uh, challenges come out uh, through your way. However, uh, I, I believe you have to uh, scale your level and uh, evolve uh, to the level of your business. Uh, we can all understand how uh, this is turning into something a lot bigger uh, in different dimensions to where we thought it was a while ago. Uh, it is becoming more and more clear. And hi, Grossmender. Yes, Ash. Yes, I can hear a truck passing by. Okay. No. So, Grossmender, mute yourself, please. We. Uh, we thought we we're just going to talk about the possibilities. I have a secret to share with you, and that probably uh, the biggest highlight of tonight's uh, conversation. And um, you come to witness, not tonight, but over the last uh, several months or so, that we were, uh, we were uh, going through some challenges. And some of you wonder how come we maintained a good composure and you know we were uh, still optimistic and positive and in fact more passionate about the journey more than uh, any time uh, well here's a secret 
uh, even before any of the challenges rose uh, and arose under the uh, uh, light and came to uh, become known some publicly and some at least to a few of our core uh, leaders uh, before that happened and and when that happened uh, we already seen the signs of those challenges in early stages and parallel with that we thought this is even going bigger than uh, we planned initially if not bigger, at least faster. Uh, so we would have to update our game and up our game uh, periodically and, and rapidly. But one of the lessons we've learned is not to share anymore with the public. The very first theme back in the days when we started this, it was exclusive private webinar for the uh, founding members back then. And then that faded out, if you re realize now, uh, I'll probably make you think about that. And that was a good reason uh, we started doing that because we believed we grew beyond the, allow me to say, intimacy and uh, you know that close inner circle, uh, we've uh, exploded beyond the borders. And uh, it was hard to keep things uh, in, in private. Uh, unless we kept them actually in private, not to share with uh, some people who might be curious or interested in the details. I personally uh, take this as it's my life. And one statement should make you understand my personality. About this business, nothing is personal, okay? But my character and my attitude toward Unpassive is literally or at least the concept of unpassive, literally, hardcorely, do it or die. More than you think, more than you know. To the point is my existence is just for this journey. If I'm unable to uh, deliver or to take this vision I have, even the one that I didn't share with you, if I'm unable to take it to a, a proper delivery to the public, it destroys me personally. My entire purpose and my entire existence is at stake. If I don't do that. So you may think it's a business. This is one person or a few successful people are trying I have bad news for you. You're wrong, and I'm not trying. I will literally do it. Literally do it or die. But when the responsibility became even bigger and the hopes increased and and I've gathered so many ideas from you, at least motivation, they were the seed of other projects i decided to make sure that i have a backup plan that even if i die that is unfair for uh, these in incredible inventions and uh, breakthroughs so i take it a joke to the public without any insult, with all the respect, what you already know. But you're happy with what you know. But I was working until this day, literally around the clock. There's not a given clock or hour by the second. Throughout the days, the months, the years, that I can tell you, I'm not available, it's after the clock. No. Every minute is on the clock, on duty. Because I said, I'm going to do it or die, and I want to make sure it's done. Because 
nobody prefers that. So the analogy of die is even if it takes death, I'm doing it. That's how stubborn I am. But the goal is not to die. The goal is to do it. As without the time, without the details, but I think you have a glimpse and you have some uh, scattered information here and there. I'll, I'll help you piece them up together. First challenges were internal, like from the uh, founding members back then. A few crooks joined us back in the days and literally invested money and campaigned to bring down on passive and destroy Ash Mufara, even take him to prison, destroy his family, his kid and wife, heartless, careless, whatever it takes, we're going to go and dis destroy that guy who's really trying hard to make a difference in, in the global uh, you know, economy or market or improve some people's life. Uh, yes, those animals who pe people I, I helped in, in many aspects. So naively, I allowed them to get close to me. Sadly, they were the uh, corrupted people that we built the entire business uh, to do that because corruption is not just limited to uh, politicians or you know public figures or all of that uh, you could have corruption you know in your own family um, and people who would manipulate or uh, keep it lightly misbehave and do uh, improper things uh, sadly the people surrounded me in the beginning uh, a big portion of them were corrupted. So I had to change direction early on. That's the good news. And to revamp the whole uh, work structure. It doesn't mean ever that we are 100% corruption free as of now. But we got better, we got smarter not to reveal all the cards. Little after that, internal corruption among the staff who steal your money, who uh, steal the code or build the business on your back and and they come and get a salary on the clock while they're building their own business or having a second, third job. And that was a challenge to get it cleared out. Major challenge. I mean, I don't want to give myself an excuse. Uh, the, of course, mentally, I seem to be uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I sound like I'm talking about myself in this case, but seem to be at least maybe in their eyes, uh, or if you would agree with them, kind, nice guy, let's take advantage. Some of them, they said, well, this is Ash Mufara, big shark, big money, probably a billionaire in their eyes, forgive me. Let's suck his blood, all right? I got records of that. And do whatever it takes my people that have changed their life. I paid for their living and their family. So that is another challenge, another challenge. Another. And then their efforts, whether, you know, they're the, the customers or the uh, employees and other partners that you didn't allow uh, to get in the game, they were pissed. So they also had to uh, campaign their way. We were creating so many 
enemies too fast for a number of reason, reasons, but one reason, it's probably a common reason, is is so much potential money or success or traffic around this journey, let's piggyback in any way and take our slice. Not caring if this is destroyed, if it lasts, we would have a long time uh, invasion to monetize over this. Long story short, it just got uglier, 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 uglier. And it made me realize that not everybody is so nice like you, Ash. There's some evil monsters among us. Even we created this as a revenge from those people, but sadly, you find them in your own backyard, in your home, everywhere. And I mean by that, our business. Now go back, tie this up to do it or die. I take responsibility. Nobody on the planet takes the responsibility of taking and making these dreams come true, but the guy who knows them and knows the value and the effect and the impact of those and how severely they would improve our life. So I know they're worth to die even beyond that. If I can die, if I if I have to die, not if I can, uh, every day to fulfill this those dreams, I will do it without a blink of an eye. So tie the challenges with what I have in mind this is one way to do it. Get better, smarter, don't trust. And made me realize how valuable is what we have. Even the little they know and you know. Imagine if I unveil some of what I have or the extra. I would be resting in peace long time from now if if I had shared that. So uh, I just had to work harder, smarter, and definitely more careful. But not allowing anybody that we knew to uh, to get in the game as we did previously. People I didn't know, I trust them, I gave them access, I gave them money, I gave them whatever it takes. Yeah, sure, do it. That's how I am. And I think people are like that. Though I knew the market, but I thought like, because we're doing something nice, we're attracting the people who think like us. And they're gonna be behaving and holding the same standards that we, we, we have. Uh, but no, some people come, okay, is a nice kind one it's pulled their eyes out uh, it certainly was it, i love it and that's the biggest value that i've had in my life the biggest value in two pieces the biggest value is those challenges if they didn't happen, I would have been less trained and immune for more. So the biggest value that I've gained, number one, and learned that how important is what we have. The little they know and you know. Imagine the much more that you don't know. And the second part is, do not trust and do it in a more precautious way.
and that helped me. So I'm so thankful and grateful that this happened. The stories are endless and irrelevant. Like I could talk to you over a cup of coffee one day, have a chat, no problem. But I don't have a secret about the past. And by the name, I don't keep anything. Okay? Uh, but again, you have to go back and line up. That's not my target. I'm not here for the fight of those people. I'm not going to accomplish, even if I destroy them or whatever happened to them or expose them, what am I going to benefit? The focus is the dream. So we want to focus on the dream. All right. So how can I protect the dream safely and not to get affected? There are two types of work. There is busy work. You're just exhausted, exhausted like a hamster, like spinning, 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 hamster wheel. You're not going anywhere. That's busy work. And obviously, on the same direction, it could be negative work. And there is productive work. I have learned how to stay focused on the productive work. What? get me closer to those goals, to the outcome that we're chasing. Um, that's all I want to share with you on, on, on the bigger picture. Now, to, to zoom in just some of the increments, you can apply the same mentality on the different components of our business. Exactly. So when... I've had the challenges of India. I went to Bangalore, the Silicon Valley of India. I build an IT company, AI company. Where do you go? You go to India or you bring India here. One of the two. I lived in the Silicon Valley, California. It smells like Mumbai. It's not California. It's not America. It is like none and curry and uh, rice or none so what i mean jokingly i'm i'm implying that who's building those big tech giants indian for the most part but other nationalities with all the respect it's it's a melting pot no problem but the vast majority are indian you got to either bring them or go there. I've never been to India. And I'm not an Indian nationality. But I think I qualify, right, Chris Minder? Uh, absolutely, for what I've done for India so far. Uh, so I learned that I cannot rely on that. I cannot rely on one team, whether in Bangalore, or Kolkata, that's where it all started, West Bengal. We've been working around the clock by the chair, by the every piece of furniture, every equipment, every piece of software, every individual, and multiply by 20 with the uh, manipulation that uh, I went through. But I never quit focusing on the uh, target. So thankfully, I decided to have backups. And I want to be very, very clear. I don't mean by that everybody ultimately on your team. I would have probably closed down India a long time ago. No, that's. I have to be careful, and I want you to be careful with thinking India is an amazing country. I mean, all the jokes aside, India is an incredible culture. Very, very uh, hardworking people, incredible, uh, so much potential uh, for the most. But just like every case, there are some bad apples. And because of the disadvantage I have, I'm like from 12,000 miles away, 
uh, managing this, I was a good target for some corruption. So it, it was a battle to untangle all of that. You don't know how brutal it is. I don't think I can finish talking about that tonight, nor it would be productive. We want to be productive. So uh, what was productive to know that early on, even before you know, I started working on a backup plan. And then it got worse when there was some dissatisfaction by myself before you even know about the quality of some of the products. Again, there some of them, their target is to suck my cash. That's the bottom line. And have a good lifestyle and position and take it easy. Secondary target is to do the products. But with some dishonesty about, uh, yes, sure, this, this, that, and I see, but there were some parts kept away from me. And then when I find that it's a disappointment, then I have to uh, take some drastic action every occasion. And then some occasions were impressive. Some individuals are my heroes up till today. Some of them with me for five years now. So that I want you to be clear. Don't say by nationality, you can never generalize anything. Okay, and not to say everybody. It's just a disadvantage. So you probably got a, a bad HR that was uh, scamming, you know, hiring people, the wrong people or some connections and paying them money. That happened. Takes a while, but it's naive from them to think that they can keep or get away with it forever. The truth will always emerge, always. It's 2024. If somebody believes there's a secret, where have you been for the last century? Have you been on something called planet Earth? Have you been with us for the last century? There's no secret. Everything. Everything will be known at some point, especially the truth, will always come out. Sometimes you don't even know or you don't even put the effort, it just by itself. And we did what we did. Uh, so I, I'm glad I had backups and I'm glad I was. Uh, I would say wise enough, calm enough not to mix everybody. I didn't mix up. So I, I was able to differentiate between the good guys and the bad guys. And we had people who really delivered and they, we owe them, you know, the debt until the last breath we have. They're absolutely my heroes. Um, the other thing is I had in mind, because I want to remind some of you know that on passive ecosystem is the first phase of on passive. So regardless of that chaotic, you know, uh, work environment in the back end, that's not necessarily needed for anybody and sometimes you have to keep it away because those people who are working with you 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 don't want to speak too soon to let them know that they're exposed to you or you caught them already so sometimes you have to stay like play dead okay or act dumb until it's proper and you gather all the evidences and all of that and the challenge now is to continue everything without a delay, 
we have put so much information to the public more than I wanted to. Now, if I go back, I wouldn't share. I would share one product with you. Okay. Uh, and the clock is ticking. So you're driving on, a, on the highway that I-95 run and speeding 70, 80 miles per hour. And at the same time, you have to fix that flat tire, which is the damage they caused. You still want to fix it, but you still have to beat the clock. You have to be, while some of them were just burning the clock so they can get paid and other benefits. So that's the challenge, is how not to uh, affect the, uh, the timeline. And also put the worst case scenario. Which, what if they de fail de to deliver totally? So those two challenges, not to stop, you're going fast, you need to repair. Secondly, worst case scenario, they could destroy you and you would have to start all over again, God forbid, but I was aware of it. And the last component is you don't want to put or set on hold the other phases until this is complete, it's taken longer than we wanted or promised, we were promised. So those three major elements. So let's begin, you know, backward. So I said, well, we're gonna move on with the other ones, but secretly. So there is no reason to pause phase two to complete phase one or three to complete one and two. So started working on those phases while repairing and the backup is an easy part. Simply open different companies, even different names, even I'm not involved, okay? and build every product that you want, just in case that one is not to, uh, not up to my standards, or it's been delayed further. I'll give you one example. I have built more than one Oconnect, and measure on that multiple things, okay? So the O Connect that we're using right now, we could live with it, okay, to a degree. But what's about to come out really eminently now at this point, because it's complete, it's in the Q and A, a QA. Uh, so by the time everything is confirmed and tested, uh, it will go live. So we're gonna have a superior video conferencing system. Uh, it's going to be a new design, 100% stable, secure, scalable, everything you want, some additional features, et cetera. All right. And I'm going to address one more thing that a lot of people think we are only working on one possibilities. And it, the fact that you're working on something, let me say something. I'm working on virtual avatar for more than two years, okay? Virtual avatar, uh, I'm sorry, the virtual background. If you have five speakers, two speakers, whatever, or a small system or a Microsoft team or a small system, nobody's gonna notice the quality. But if you're using a million, big rally or protest online concert of a million people. It's a whole different game. So for the target that we're working on, what we've achieved multiple times, is not the best we hope for. We still have, you know, we still have, uh, have, uh, 
ambition to uh, reach a higher level. So you don't go for one direction to have one virtual background solution. You have your team working on it. You have you consult with an outsource company. You consult with you know buying an open source from a uh, an existing company. Every every system or software you have has some somewhat reliance or dependency on other plugins or uh, components from everybody uses something you know with Google translation so many software so but do you need to create Google translation or translation if it's just a secondary or a minor feature in your system but if translation is a big deal or it's a it's like a cornerstone in your software yeah you have to make your own but overall what you have is 100 percent authentic and genuine so make sure you know that there there's there's some features for example let's say virtual background video and uh, image background that that's the whole business there are companies i can tell you dozens of them we've collaborated with at least dozens of them over the past months their main business and revenue and their successful businesses is to provide virtual background that's what they do for us, it's one little touch. Yet, we want to achieve an advanced level that is not available on the market. So we've achieved one, two, three, four, five times. It doesn't mean you don't have any solution. No, it's just like your standards are not average. You have high standards, so what you've achieved is unsatisfactory. But it's so satisfactory to others. So we chose to keep the effort. We believe we could achieve more. Nothing wrong with that. So when you achieved one solution, you don't dump that. You already know one, two, three, seven, more than 12 other ways or solutions. If you, if you choose any of them, you already have that. And nobody would know. Nobody would complain. But we have a bigger ambition, more than you think, it's like deep technology, that we're striving for a higher level. It's that simple. And measure on that other parts of our business. How could I achieve offering more technology, unlimited, more features, autonomous, at a lower cost, with fewer people on the payroll? How? That's a challenge. When you say, well, nobody does it, like, you know, uh, Zoom has seven, 9,000 people. Yeah. Uh, GoDaddy has seven, 9,000 people. Yeah. You could say that. It doesn't mean it's impossible. It doesn't mean there's no first time every time. So we worked on number of directions and uh, probabilities in that, uh, you know, and, and of course, other features that we uh, announced and some we didn't announce. Some are achieved, some are still, you know, we believe we could achieve more. But what I didn't share with you and not even with our people that I decided to build different teams and give them the expectations. And sometimes the backup plan went faster than the original plan. It went faster and better that you thought, oh my God, I need to ditch what we're working on for like three years. After three weeks working on this, now, if I come and tell you this something that I've had it parking for three years, example, and if I tell you 
I'm gonna ditch it to me it's ugly or probably an embarrassment that's what your focus is gonna go on oh my god that's a disaster I tell you what we could make make billions with that we could sell it for billions but but what you don't know is how good is plan B and C and then when you know that you say oh wow day and night yeah of course this is an easier choice so if you know you could achieve B and C and they're higher for example better quality lighter less expensive fewer people which one do you do logically so I uh, I just want to say uh, O Connect is about to go live uh, with the new release, which is uh, a life changing. And uh, I have also the other O Connect, which I don't call it O Connect. You have no idea, not you, not my staff that created O Connect, that they know what the name or where it is or who the hell is working on it. And it's to me, it's going to make you, I'm sorry, but I can say it to my brothers, not drop your pants okay for sure for sure for sure it will drop your jaw but make no mistake make no mistake that is a more bold uh, work strategy I have been working for a while and everything I have a backup plan for even the team even the location even I shouldn't tell you this but I feel safe now to announce it Okay, because I'm past the dangerous zone. So when I said I am going to change your life is because of the other phases. The first phase, it will change your life. The unpassive, you know. So I cannot tell you what are those phases, nor um, get into those details but if on passive one or the first one that you know the ecosystem can thrill you as catmo and more uh, then uh, it's a whole different game when we're talking about two and three and fortunately we were able to complete the others okay um, so on passive is bigger than you think. Let's call it on passive group for, as a collection of different companies, products, different areas of um, sectors. We are going to revolutionize major industries just eminently. I believe this is a uh, an important year because now after all those um, explosions and war zone that we are coming out uh, now we can say okay we'll show you what we have uh, also yesterday I've touched up on the um, Pay structure of Oak uh, of uh, on passive. My tea's getting cold. I deserve to take a sip. Cheers. So the uh, own passive that you know got a lot of heat by so many haters. But if you can read um, intentionality and integrity or no body language or human personalities I think you already feel good about what we have uh, and you understand uh, where we're headed 
Um, maybe the word generous is fair enough to describe what we wanted to do, something rather generous. Uh, we like to give a lot more than we take. One evidence is uh, nobody can complain about what we had. Uh, founding members were closed out in June 2022, almost two years ago. In a couple months, or three years ago. What did I say? No, no, two years, 22. Okay. And uh, O-Connect, we decided not to take more new customers until we reveal the new one, even if it's dirt cheap and we're paying commissions. First sale is 100% giveaway. It's like almost a union, yeah. Uh, you're not a genius if you have discovered that, wait a minute, they're giving more than they're taking. This is a bad math. It doesn't take a genius to understand that we're not in it for the profit, for the company. Uh, you don't need to be with us a, a, a century, okay? You could be with us a couple of days and know that we give more than we take. Uh, we like, we would love to give more. That's our character. And that applies on the pay structure. I thought uh, there's a better way for the uh, global economy. I believe there's a better, more fair structure. I know it ticks off so many uh, systems. I'm not doing trade with systems. I do commerce with God. I do what I believe is good. I do trade with God and I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm a believer, I'm a strong believer. And I think I don't need to get validation or approval. It is necessary not to break the law. It is necessary to, uh, comply by the regulations it is essential to me to play by the book that's the first thing i thought uh endorsing from the early stages when i decided i want to build this new revolution on passive is a done deal no it's not a done it's so done deal and any product that you have, I have a backup for, for it. I have multiple uh, versions of it, different teams that are, they're totally different. I'm at the luxury where I would be able to pick the best of the best. Some, I have multiple choices, one, two, three, four in some cases, and I'll choose the best. So collectively, we're gonna have the very best single sign-on platform that ever existed. It is the only internet that you would need, the only safe one that you will choose. And timing is ideal for us. Excuse and forgive the delay or the scattered ideas here and there. That soon will be behind us and uh, we will forget it collectively. But, um, you know, uh, we were able to set a structure where we're immune and protected and shielded from those so we can continue and put the energy in the right uh, uh, direction and the right place where we can manufacture more technologies, more benefits, more positivity to our beloved uh, planet and humanity. Uh, that's our mission. Um, I'm glad it went this way. I'm glad. I was too naive a couple of years ago. If everything went just smooth and then later on these stabs showed up probably would have been different i'm so happy they came in by now and they gave us that uh i would say flexibility the exercise to uh to become better and more efficient 
of course, you're going to have some skepticism come along with that because, and I don't blame you. It's not your fault because you don't have all the details and, and there's no possible way we can give you all the details. Uh, so you could be lost, confused, or have some doubts. Some days you're totally fine. I would too. Uh, everybody probably doubt themselves sometimes, right? So for you to doubt me and the business that we're doing, it's a compliment. Of course, you're human, we're human, no worry. But uh, moving forward, I assure you, I guarantee that I, Ash Mufar, will change the world, will change the world and change your world included for what's coming, what you don't know. Ecosystem will be a good start, okay? Obviously, it's being wrapped up, you know what's happening now. Uh, and make no mistake, uh, I'm not relying on one thing. I don't have one shot to make this. It's done. Even if you kill me today, it's done. So chillax, it's a done deal. If you're uh, asking what's chillax, that's a new pill that uh, Chris Johnson's taken. helps him relax it's a combination between relax and chill chill and relax my son made up that word okay i like it or you like this so i said let's make it chillax i want to share a video with you for now uh, while i uh, sip water and we can move on to the uh, other topics
uh, we will make uh, this video available uh, on the main channel of on passive and you are welcome to use it and share it uh, as of a few hours from now uh, give it up to our uh, marketing team and mr nazal is another video is also about to be released uh, from our o media department uh, and it's also highlighting the upcoming event about the World uh, Police Summit uh, taking place in Dubai on the 5th of uh, March. Uh, it will last for a couple of days. And um, much, 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 much more that is happening. And uh, that's what's going on. It looks like it's going to be a very good uh, week, uh, especially uh, if all goes well with uh, O Connect, that's going to be uh, basically a trigger that will be pulled off to unleash uh, several other uh, phases. And we're uh, excited about that. Uh, we're also chillaxed uh, knowing that everything is under control. Uh, we're fine. Uh, you should uh, feel the same way. And um, I, I just want you to know that they're really talented, hardworking people working around the clock. Uh, they are doing whatever it takes to make this happen. It's no longer Ash Mafar and just one guy is chasing the dream. Uh, no, uh, fortunately, we are blessed that there's so many people that have uh, seen the vision and endorsed the same uh, spirit to uh, uh, to make a difference and and they give it their life as well uh, there's so many of us now at this stage we're not doing this for business and uh, we're not doing this for any cause but doing well and doing good for uh, humanity and we know we're doing it uh, what we have in different sectors and different uh, areas of our life it will make you cry and it will be hard to believe it's beyond magic it's beyond science fiction i'm telling you and i'm no exception and i'm no different than any of you except i had a desire i still have a great desire and believe that we can do better and that uh, we can make a difference and we can make this uh, earth a better place. And so pure and focused on that simple purpose in your life, good things happen eventually. May not happen in the beginning, but if you're working for uh, recognition, or for fame or for whatever benefit or some self or selfish advantage, uh, you're gonna be disappointed and you're gonna quit. But if you're working for a higher purpose and you believe you can do it and there is a better way, eventually you're gonna have things that you never thought were possible. Nothing but miraculous things happen. And that's where we are. Uh, who knows? A few more uh, meetings down the road, I'll be talking to you about showing you maybe uh, something that will make you lose many things. I mean, sleep, probably, fill in the blank. Uh, so uh, I think uh, Mr. Gersmender is gonna fill us uh, uh, on the uh, event in Kolkata. And uh, John, if you can update us on our brother, Bill Must, um, when you can.
hopefully he's doing good and we want to know about the event in india uh perhaps i'm not sure what's happening to be honest with you but uh i told you this uh, event is taking place this week and there's another event in egypt also i'm sure we will announce it is happening this week uh or specifically on the 9th uh, uh and uh Yeah, there's a way to mute that um, <laughs> keyboard. Yeah. Sorry for that. <laughs> no, there's a way to mute. You know that your your key uh, the keyboard. You yeah, uh, yeah, that is uh, uh, there. But uh, I'm just afraid of because I was having earlier mess up with uh, this uh, button. So I'm afraid that if I uh, mute and then I can't speak. Oh, I I didn't know it was you. So that is something that. Um, yeah, don't worry uh just there's a ringer you can mute and it will be silent no matter what you click that's yeah. how i have it permanently on it's glued mute imagine i put my phone on sounds Got like you. i live in a lake yeah with cockroaches and i don't know <laughs> but anyway um that's how it sounds like, right? The uh, beep. It's like you're in the jungle for some reason, yeah. like an owl. Yeah. Uh, tell me something. Uh, we can hear if something necessary you want to say. Grossmender, you can tell us about that event. Uh, John White, if you can tell us about Bill. And anyone else want to say something? And I want to get into some of the questions. I will see what can be. Maybe I can prioritize what's important and I can go over uh, some of the questions. Uh, what I refer to is some of our uh, leaders have gathered some questions or topics they recommend that we address in this meeting, taking advantage. Thanks to Minu and Ron for allowing us to come here because if I make my own webinar, maybe with Chris Johnson, his three and my four will probably crush it if we get seven. So I'm glad we tapped into a bigger crowd and uh, we take advantage to hit on those uh, points with you. August Mender, what's happening? Yeah, uh, so uh, thank you, Ash, for uh, inviting me and uh, what a great uh, updates. And uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, for Kolkata event, uh, actually, this was actually planned uh, uh, by uh, uh rihan sarkar and uh, harish sharma from india were uh, very dedicated uh, uh, founders and uh, by his team and uh, uh, it's happening on uh, yeah, just a, a few hours from now on 2nd of uh, march uh, 2024 and uh, so it will be a very professional uh, uh, type of uh, 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 event uh, so sitting capacity is uh, around uh, 2000 and uh, they have prepared everything uh, very uh, like they are working for, from last three or four months for this event and uh, a lot of things happened actually you know when we uh, organize something uh, so harish and rihan uh, are the main uh, uh, like organizers of uh, this event and it will uh, uh, kick off around uh, uh, like uh, 12 noon in uh, indian time and uh, uh, there is also uh, uh, OakNet uh, uh, live uh, that, that is a uh, 3:15 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Uh, it will be, I think, roughly, uh, I think, 5 a.m. Eastern. I think, uh, and everybody is uh, welcome. And uh, uh, even he, uh, Harish, has uh, messaged me to just uh, uh, tell you uh, that uh, you should also, if you are free, uh, you are most welcome over there, Ash, and all the. Uh, uh, all I. I worth four dollars. I'm not free. <laughs> uh, but yeah, because on passive got started in Kolkata. Uh, that is a special for you, Ash. I know our first office was there, and it was like uh, uh, in uh, 2019 when you shared those uh, uh, memorable first glimpses of that Kolkata office. Uh, that was really memorable, and uh, so uh, I think. Uh, uh, it's a uh, like on passive event get started from there uh, the event is happening over there it's a special for all of us as well uh, as uh, uh, for that city 
and uh, yeah everybody is invited and if harish is listening to harish if you can come and invite for personally uh, that would be more uh, a uh, 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 good thing for everybody but everybody is uh, uh, excited for this event Our so there will be uh, speeches or would it be more like technical uh, presentations about the products or yeah uh, so uh, yeah yeah so they will be talking about our products uh, like uh, o connect o mail uh, whatever we have and uh, then there is there is some media presence o- over there also and uh, like a marketing event also and uh, our founders like francis he uh, he has traveled from uh, um, singapore he is coming over there from bangladesh from nepal uh, people are coming to attend that event of course we will be there uh, virtually uh, on o connect so uh, like they have worked uh, like a wifi high five wifi so that uh, nothing gets uh, wrong over there when we are live uh, so roughly around 5 am uh, eastern standard time everyone is in- invited on behalf of harish and rehan sarkar both are very dedicated and their team actually the organizers the the, the whole team is very very good uh, so we love them and you Thank also you. know rehan and uh, harish they are very dedicated and very very uh, good founders so everybody is uh, uh, welcome over there and uh, that uh, but uh, it's a very professionally managed uh, you will see in uh, pictures and uh, video whenever it's come uh, so invited and especially ash you are most welcome over there thank you so much thank you all right uh, john would you want to say something or keep it uh, private however you like uh, anyone else want to go uh, so here's what i uh, think uh, i don't know maybe we can open the q and a and allow you post the question if you have so for example uh, uh gladys has a question or two if you like to post them if you have them handy so everybody can read and we can address them or you want me to read or just address the topic however you like because there's so many i feel if they're typed and i can run through we could address some question would be a matter of a yes or no maybe Yeah, go ahead, Chris. Go. Ahead. I'm I'm sorry, John is having an issue. He sent me something to read. If that's okay, my voice is shot too, but uh real quick, uh tell Mr. Mafar that Bill is doing better and he has been released from the hospital. Thank God. Um but he will be back to have a full body MRI on March 12th. So, he's out of the hospital. That's that's a good news right there. So that's the latest stuff. I've been trying to send him as I get him. So thank you John White. Hope all will be good inshallah. Inshallah. All right. Uh so what do you uh, suggest for the uh, questions? I suggest whatever you want to do. It's easier for you, Ash. You're helping us. Yeah, out. whatever. Whatever is easier. Them- if we have them visual here so everybody can read it, instead of reading uh twice we could just address them because i don't know if you want to hear there's some long questions to be honest with you you have to open the q and a though ash um also glad is requested if she could just read it if that's okay that's another way yeah uh the question whoever ask it like Lestra is next you could get ready Terry Thompson uh Gina Leva so you could i i, I could i think that you're all here uh except John White might not be able to uh, yeah. uh his audio is not coming out i can read it for him for example it's not a long one so yeah and Jeffrey's here Narell uh Julie of course Peter Rogers Collins mm-hmm. Manna Susie McCray has a question. Uh Andy Burks. Can I say something? Sure. While we're deciding something you said um about do or do it or die ash and you you use the word trying. And it's not that you're trying. Do you remember saying that? I'm doing it. Right. So one of my mentors Will used to say the same thing when anyone would say to him, "Well, I'm trying to do that." He says, "What does that look like?" Yeah. And when you think about using that word trying, 
Instead, you should say, I'm doing it instead of trying, because he would always go right back at everybody. What does that look like? What does trying look like? And it just takes you back. You're so, giving, you're giving yourself uh, a pass or a, an excuse. Yeah, uh, if it yeah. goes okay, easy, just first try, doesn't go, no problem. Yeah. Try. He, yeah. He had so many good lines like that. But when you said that trying, you go, I'm not trying, I'm doing it. And that is exactly what he would instill in us all the time. That, and if you said, um, Oh, I didn't, I didn't do it. I was too busy. He goes, you weren't too busy. You just decided to do something else with your time. Exactly. Woo. <laughs> so you learn not to yeah. say I'm trying and I'm too busy to get it done. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I didn't I just have time. I didn't, didn't have time. time. No, oh, you, you chose have the to do time something. I have, but <laughs> yeah. you're doing yeah. something that is not productive or not you decided to do something yeah, else with something your time. Silly. Yeah. Exactly. So I always catch myself not to say that. But anyway, it's good to see you and thank you. Good to see you. You want yeah. to go ahead with your question? Yeah, I'll go with my it? question. Yeah, that's great. You know me. I'm not a uh, I'm <laughs> this is late for me to be up. <laughs> no problem. Um, we'll, we'll so my question my question was of course about O staff and I was wondering if you had any feedback um is the on passive staff using it? Um, are they liking it? Are there any new features? Um, I'm sure it's in the pipeline. Just any updates would be great. Perfect. Th thank you. Uh, very good question. I actually will pull up uh, one uh, uh, okay. uh, sheet by our I'm going to give you the exact date, okay? Yeah, that's great. So, okay, this update that when on yesterday, okay, um, the updated release uh, uh, on February 29, 2023, as verified by the TM, okay, without the part time, uh, the PT and ST, let's just put those two codes aside. Uh, this release will be exclusively catered to the internal release uh, for the uh, on passive HR and strategy teams. So as of yesterday, uh, the new release went live, which is a whole new uh, OSTAP than the one you've seen in Boston. And that is already tested. And now, as of yesterday, technically in March, on passive, different teams of on passive, including the HR, are now the first beta testers of that. Uh, in July, late July, uh, they have O counting also scheduled to be released uh, beginning with India, which is basically like your QuickBook or uh, tax uh, and payroll uh, 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 software. It's all included. Uh, so in a nutshell, O staff, we have created a different O staff that you've seen. Uh, we have recruited, uh, to be precise, somebody who has built, you know, Oracle has a master, uh, host, uh, like a HR management system, and somebody who worked with them for 15 years now is heading our program. And... Uh, worked uh, globally. Oracle is obviously, it's a huge business, you know, it's a ma massive company, uh, but SAP and Oracle are some of the biggest, uh, SAP, by, it's a German company. And uh, I believe uh, we're fortunate also to attract some of the experts on 
the topic uh, to be leading that. I don't have time, uh, Susie, for when would it go live for the uh, uh, public or commercially. But no, that's a great I, update. I can ask. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Thank you. It sounds like um, that added person. Oh, we have a new. Really great. We have we have a new uh, on passive. Now we're gonna uh, obviously uh, gather together and uh, make a strategy for the release prices, all of that. Uh, and a side note. Uh, we decided to make it a standalone company, yet there is a light version available for the ecosystem. So what we have is going to be, uh, you understand like companies have to install the software and do some customization. Yeah. So that's one business model. Another business model is you have a that open source, basically a subscription for smaller businesses. Okay. That is mm -hmm. what we will make. And then you use what's available without much customization. Okay. That is available for businesses and individuals in on passive ecosystem, but also on the side, uh, we have that enterprise level. Mm -hmm. For the larger corporations, yes. I'm sure. Yeah. But keep in mind, O counting, O higher. I think you know what O higher is. Mm -hmm. So yep. recruiting platform. Recruiting platform. platform. Yeah. Okay. So all combined in one place. And of course, you know that we have the uh, uh, facial uh, rec recognition and detection for, uh, uh, you know, uh, checking in and all of that, punching in and out. And at the same time, onboarding all of that. So I do believe it will be the most complete uh, management system in one uh, platform. Uh, add to that super scalable and it will be for peanuts uh comparing to uh what's yeah, current prices yeah yes we yeah. pay millions on those softwares across the uh, different locations mm -hmm. it's crazy yeah well thank you ash i appreciate that update absolutely thank you, thank you. mr ash is the master mute still on so because one word one word 2024 as of march you can consider we have a new o staff that is already official okay great thank you yeah um you know sorry sorry yeah is the master mute on because a few of the people with question don't have the mic but they can unmute okay jean uh, can you hear us jean aliba Yes, I can, Minu. Thank you so much. I don't know what you did, but it brought it back. And uh, <laughs> would you like me to go now? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let me. Oh, you. wonderful. Okay, thank you so much, Ash, Minu, uh, Ron, uh, for for hosting this. Yes. Um, I'm going to read my question here, and I thank you, Ash. I I wasn't sure if it was too soon to ask this or inappropriate, and I totally understand if it is. But my question is. You have a fast-growing family of innovators and inventors in on passive. Are you able to share anything general about their first areas of focus? For example, are they innovating in energy, transport, health, construction, or other areas? That's uh, big information to be addressed publicly. But That's what I think. keep it on AS, keep it on AS for the areas that you've mentioned. But as far for the uh, on passive ecosystem, keep it on that along with, uh, with the experts we have on, on that uh, uh, project. Um, we, our focus is to get this now uh, complete within this year, rolled out 100% commercially, including the uh, ash bomb, I hope you would be aware of that, but mainly uh, our um, uh, data center and of course the complete uh, ecosystem, uh, single sign-on. It's gonna be completely, um, yeah. it's, it, the word is not, re, uh, not revamped, it's remade, okay? Well, it is being remade, okay? Uh, including ecosystem, including uh, O-Mail completely remade, okay? It's been remanufactured. And uh, uh, that applies, of course, O-Net, okay? Wait for that. So 
all in all, um, uh, yeah, or trim, there will be a paid version for it, like a, probably a different name, some more. So we have a bunch already and a bunch that uh, where they are working on, for example, we <coughs> have chosen different locations for them without even disrupting what they're doing or distracting their work. Uh, mm -hmm. All in all, we have you know options where, so they made this copy, they made this copy, we'll evaluate, we'll take the best or maybe a blend of, of both. Uh, but um, 2024 releasing the uh, ecosystem with some products that you don't know about. One word I threw yesterday it was Ovatar, including that, and uh, just just make sure that um, everything is available for uh, or on the marketplace. Uh, that is the first focus for the ecosystem. The other areas, they're definitely without uh, any ambiguity. They're areas of our interest and passion. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ash. And we will make a big, big, big uh, uh, impact on those, not just to get in. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, looks like Gladys has, um, you have your mic back, right? Gladys? Yes, I do. Go for Thank it. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ash, for agreeing to take my question. You did answer question number one already uh, in the first address that you did. My second question is: uh, Will on passive have will on passive have its own uh, mobile money transfer service for peer to peer lending? That's one piece of ash bomb. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna call it ash kiss. <laughs> so it's gonna be your phone kisses my phone. We can transfer money. That's it. Yeah. Thank Virtually. You or uh, like a tap. Wonderful. And that is a big battle I have because nobody likes it. The users would love it. The market would love it, okay? <laughs> for the convenience, for how much it will save and uh, the possibilities of making more, at get, getting more for your buck. But businesses, uh, they have been comfortable with their level and they don't want anybody to get in the game and disrupt it. Good question, Gladys, Jean, and Susie so far. So far, yeah. All right, we we'll go to Sherry this way. Do you have your mic? Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, Ash. Hello, How hello. How are you guys doing? Fired up. Perfect. Yes, me too. <clears throat> so um, my question has to go like this. Uh, you talked about in the past the debit cards in, and India being the first part of that. Are we close to that um, happening? And then are we past the hurdles that are that are from the other countries, independent, independent ones. Thank you, Sherry. Okay. If you're uh, able to. So there are no hurdles on the other countries to be specific. It just, it's a process. It takes time. Okay, process. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Process. And for India, it's just about ready. Okay. It's just about ready. Uh, Tentatively, it was supposed to be end of um, uh, uh, February, actually, not March. I would assume a couple more weeks we should uh, have a good clarity on that. Uh, that is India, but also we have other programs um, in Europe. Europe is covered, by the way, uh, and some um, North American countries as well. It's a very, very... Uh, sophisticated and complicated process lots of uh, bureaucracy and regulations and approval documents yeah. but uh everything is moving 
fine. There's no hurdle on that. It's just a matter of time. Okay, thank you very much. I have another question, but I'll let somebody else go because I don't thank have it ordered Sarah. correctly. Thank you. Thank you. What Sarah. is that like? Like I'm gonna let you be tortured by guilt? Like I have something, but. <laughs> Uh, well, just, just say it, Sherry. Go ahead. Yeah. Just say it. Okay. Um, well, I have quite I'm not going to sleep anyway. India's going to wake up. In a... Okay. Perfect. So, um, I was curious to know about, um, you talked about the tracker thing a while back and I don't know if that's something you can elaborate on. You know, that always has my interest all in so many ways. Um, so I don't know if that's something you can still elaborate on because I know you guys were working on, um, well, there, I know there's two trackers. One's like a little device thing and one's the tracker that the uh, the cops and all that kind of people, the you know, for earthquakes and all that kind of things. So I was just wanting to know how that is um, moving along, if you can elaborate on those or not. Uh, it's a big project. We are working on multiple devices, okay? Some have been achieved, and again, not satisfactory to me. The size was an issue. Uh, so uh, it's usable, but I'll be happy to give it away. Uh, anyway, uh, I have other projects in the pipeline, but I'm going to break down the objective to you without getting into the uh, names and, you know, uh, status of each so there is the digital tracking, the yes. web tracking, which is O-Tracker, we have that. As a part of that will be included, obviously there are different scales, okay? And then we base so many AI uh, features uh, based on that because it, it gives you a lot of information. But some devices, you got valuables mm -hmm. to the point where your wallet, your mobile phone, you could have a tiny, tiny invisible piece of, we're not going to say what it is, okay? That is able to track it just in case it's shut down when it's offline because some smartphones or most smartphones come with that capability, but in case it's turned off or you have something, you know, data or something important <laughs> or if it's uh, uh, completely uh, uh, offline, all right? So it's not going to be able to trace that. Uh, so we have that valuables including devices like your laptop your uh, mobile uh, phone and those are targets okay for theft for uh, miss you know you can misplace them and of course um, larger objects and valuables such as vehicles want to be able to track them offline okay uh, and so that the that is revealing for something like a live GPS. That is another part of uh, O-Tracker, the digital one, to have it on a live map, just like Uber Eat and and the different maps or Uber and, and Lyft and all of those applications, um, perhaps. And there is also personal tracking. Children, yeah. women, and yes, soldiers. Don't tell anybody, okay? I didn't say that. Yes, uh, thank there, you so much. There are different devices for different purposes. Yeah. So we have yes. a number of projects are going on, and they're all under the umbrella of the O-Tracker department. O-Tracker gotcha. is ready, you understand, and it's uh, at the level we have it now. It's beyond uh, GA, uh, Google Analytics. And mark my word on that. Ash Mufara on March 1st, still March 1st here, is saying that O-Tracker at the level of, as of now, it is more valuable than Google Analytics. Time will wow. tell. Yes. Wow. At the level as of it now. Perfect. Of course, for dirt of the cost. Of course, nothing but value here and non passive with heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's for the mm -hmm. bonus question. That's what <laughs> we do. 
<laughs> yes, thank you so thank much. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. So um, Terry um, has a question, but we have Julie Wen read the question, if you would. Then I will read a question for comfort. Thank you so much, Manu. Um, Terry is here in the attendee and she's listening. She joined a speaker, but unable to um, turn it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and read for her. We heard you mention a good while back about blockchain. And then again, on the previous O-Connect, I believe blockchain technology has the um, cap capability to be extremely beneficial to OnPassive in many different areas. If you have been giving permission to speak about this subject at this point, in which do you feel it would be the most beneficial uh, to OnPassive? Thank you so much, um, always, for all you Thank you, you for paying attention, uh, Terry. And uh, that's a good question, too. Um, so far, it's been ladies, so no wonder the intelligence is shining. And uh, first of all, I don't need a permission from anyone. I can talk about anything I want. I'm in America. <laughs> America. It's a free world. We can say whatever we want. So uh, the uh, blockchain is, is a vast uh, topic, and uh, to keep it light, we are in the early stages of that. It's a it's a whole thing. Most people uh, connect uh, blockchain is just limited to uh, cryptocurrency, all of that. No, we can actually apply it to the medical field uh, for medical records and uh, make that more secure and more accessible, more centralized. Uh, you can make that available within the organization. Different departments access the same data uh, uh, parallel uh, in a parallel way and at the same time um, different products as standalone can use the blockchain specifically when we're talking about micro transactions such as the wallet and so forth when it comes to finances so there are many uses of blockchain we decided to create our own to the betterment of our products and to the betterment of the ecosystem collectively to mesh that data together, incorporate that with the AI uh, power, uh, I think we're up to something revolutionary as well. It's not a quick project and it's not we are done with it, but um, I can tell you we're fortunate also that we've attracted some experts who've done uh, something impressive in that area, and now they are applying that uh, expertise in the uh, on passive projects. So we should move fast with that. Hope that helped, Terry. Thank you. It was a good question. Great. Thank you. So uh, Comfort has a question, but Chris Johnson is going to read it, please. Well, the Lord knows why they want me to read it with this voice. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I love Comfort. So, and Minnow, many people are struggling with their alternative email addresses, mostly because they did not know they could set up a recovery email addresses or phone numbers. If they totally lose their alternate emails, would they lose their on passive accounts? Are they planning to help us all switch email only to ease off the stress of having to lose access to foreign email addresses? I could send you that question if you didn't understand it, Ash. Uh, thank you, Comfort, for the question. Can anybody with a better voice to say it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, At least he doesn't have an accent. <laughs> okay. Um, is it on the list? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send it's it not. to you. Okay. Uh, Chris, can you send it to me? I'll add it in so that uh, we can have, uh, yeah. I'm just going to send them to it directly. That way we can keep moving on here. And it's coming. <clears throat> Messenger or the list? Right to Ash. You got it, Ash. Thank you. 
Bug. Julie, I'll send it to, to you also. You can also put it on that questionnaire. Uh, Comfort, you know, uh, we've talked about this before, but I can uh, happily repeat. Um, yes, the answer is yes. We do have a plan where there's not going to be a need for uh, uh, the alternative email. Uh, however, uh, some of the dependency is for the uh, early bird uh, founding members. So having that behind us in, in a little while, um, it will free us from, you know, some of the security because the manipulation was and it got us in trouble is when people have multiple accounts and all of that. So we don't know who's who, but uh, the, the end result is when people are actually buying the product as regular users and customers, that's the bottom line. For that, uh, we're going to have the... Uh, mobile app so when it's connected your app is verified you have an identity and um, uh, they're definitely a, a quicker method so it is not a permanent thing this is temporarily and um, you know that's one part where we said if you know how to manage we don't have a restriction on having multiple accounts etc uh, but you should be able to manage if you manage we're, we're okay we don't have a problem for you uh, with you with having multiple accounts it's uh it's a passing thing so consider we will have a a way to accept new registrations without alternative email they're definitely better methods and uh, for you in the future uh, definitely the live video support all of that and uh, all verify and facial recognition all those different methods are much better, so we will uh, we will not need it in the future. Hope that helped, comfort. And just in mm -hmm. case, uh, for those who wonder, uh, it's mainly because of there has been some abuse. So we wanted to have some security and limitation to uh, to avoid breach. I like simplicity like you, Comfort, and anyone. I like just click and access and make the changes you want, including your username or whatever. So, hope Thank you. this Thank helped. You. Next. Thank you. We go to Casey's question, who is Julie, is going to read it if you would. And then we go to Lister. So, after. even the first guy question, <laughs> a lady is going to say it. Okay. He's got issues with Wi-Fi. <laughs> Perfect. Thank I you. think guys have issues. <laughs> Hello, Brother Ash. My question is, with AI becoming big news in the media and elsewhere, many folks are concerned regarding its possible consequences in the wrong hands. How can we explain to those folks that on passive AI is and will continue to work for us and be betterment for mankind. They haven't gotten over Terminator series. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's science fiction and obviously that's not real life. Real life is uh, different. So the robotic AI that he's talking about hardware, that is something different. We make the software of the machines, okay? We create it so it's done by humans unless or until the, the machine can write its own software, then that would be a threat to us. And that's never going to happen. So we tell the machine to, 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 to what to do. So we're the owner of that intelligence. Uh, anyway, the focus in, in on passive is to use the repetitive and uh, predicted uh, information and needs, okay, and to simplify it and to make it uh, retrieve it quicker for the user, such as OChat and uh, you know the the O Verify instead of the old uh, application. So we make it um, uh, you know AI driven. So there's absolutely zero threat 
and and danger or it it would never endanger our humanity uh, specifically what we use in on passive it's literally made to save us time and to uh, cut our effort in much smaller and simpler and definitely to achieve more in less time that's the purpose of it it's not complicated uh, we're not into the uh, hardware machinery that is a different phase and uh, I don't personally I don't see any threat of that now if you're talking about some abuse of knowing data and using that against so for example Ash can make Gersminder's voice okay by AI it's possible all right I can use his voice we're at that level today i can replicate his voice and and possibly his picture we're not talking about photoshop 2002 okay we're talking about now ai i can have somebody looks like him and talks like him and you could believe it is him yet it's not him that is dangerous so this with regulations could be controlled under policy you know cyber crime and cyber security always is needed and it will increase um, in demand as we go because just like anything else there will be always an abuse and people would do the wrong thing with something that is probably meant to be positive or a good tool in our life all right when they first made the knife or something sharp to help us uh, use it in the kitchen or in our food or whatever uh, who knows how many people died by uh, being stabbed by a knife it would happen how do you set that so that's the law enforcement work or the authorities work for us we're creating something nice somebody's going to abuse they'll deal with the government let's put it that way hey ash i'm sorry can i jump in Ash, we got a few people live streaming this now. Do you want that so I can tell sure. them to or you don't care? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No secret. Go ahead, Minnow. I'm sorry. Thank you. So um, we'll go, we're going, going to go to Listero after that four gentlemen back to back. So Listero, go ahead, please. Hello, Mr. Ash. Hello, Minnie and Ron. Uh, thank you all for having me here. Mr. Ash, I have a different question for you. Many brilliant men and women have left prestigious jobs and have come to one passive to work. In your opinion, what is different that is drawing them to, to you, to the company? Uh, that's a good question. And uh, yes, it is a different question. I agree with you, Lystra. And um, I, I question that myself, okay? But it's a blessing. Uh, I tried to probably clarify that yesterday on 360. And in a nutshell, I think for the most part is e either one or, uh, or a combination, one of the two or a combination. Uh, following somebody trust they trust or they like and blindly they follow them and the other part is seeing the vision and believing in so wow I can do something more in my life or finally I can work almost on my dream but on a much faster track where almost I gave up on my dream uh, so uh, the the liberty the flexibility that we provide to especially those big uh, profiles that you know some uh, alongside with seeing that vision that we're working it's a greater purpose than just working on a job traditional job so now okay I see this vision and I can be a part of that also I see so and so I see Lystra or Michael or so and so uh, you know for for the sake of illustration and example but they know the other names on that means they've seen it and i'm for that reason i'm on board i'll keep it that simple but i'm sure every case they have their personal preference and uh 
I'm I'm like you, interested one day to maybe have a session open. Hello, Dr. Ayman, what drew you to Unpassive when you don't need a job or you were not looking or you're fine and why, why Unpassive? Right. Or so and so, or that doctor, that engineer, that expert. You know, we we have a number of them. I'm I'm interested to know their say on that. But from my side, I thought about it, and I think it's because who we have with us already, and some of the names that are not disclosed. Aha. Uh -huh. Strategic names okay and of course seeing the vision and the uh, purpose uh, of um, passive is greater than just having a job so uh, they desire to be a part of that if that helped wonderful yes thank you so much you're welcome right. thank you Lister. so next peter rogers has a question but julie's going to read it please also julie is going to read guys okay go ahead doesn't have mic. <laughs> so what's happening, guys? Men, hello, men. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? You could oh yeah, Julie. There you go. Yeah, yeah Peter. Oh, right. Peter. Okay. Great. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, you. I couldn't unmute. Okay, I couldn't unmute Ash, so obviously I can now. Uh, great to be here. Nice to see everybody. Thanks nice for inviting you. me on. And uh my question is, Ash, obviously uh, on passive a, a building in-house um, card processing system that obviously you pay for commissions and to take money for products. Will um, on passive be developing a system for outside businesses to have a card processing system to take card transactions? Is that part of what the in-house system that you're building? Right. Uh Peter, and that's also, it's, it's kind of relevant to what Sherry asked. Uh, yeah, it, it so, was earlier on. But I've, uh, I've been in and out, so I'm sorry I couldn't, well, I didn't get all the questions. But, but so. sure, you have another piece of it, which is for the businesses, and the answer is yes. Right, okay, that's great. So, perfect. Okay, thank you. All right, great. So, um, Next was Key, but Key already heard his answer. So wonderful. We go to Andy. Andy Burks, please. Hello. Hello. Hi, Ash. Um, Andy. I had a question regarding. Um, I, ha I have a number of, of, of uh, sizable organizations and companies uh, that are keen to consider. Oh, connect. Is there a specific route uh, that we should take when introducing such companies or organizations? Very, very good question, Andy. Uh, and we also have those uh, mm. already orders. Uh, so can I allow me to touch up on other areas of Unpassive? So there are some organizations, departments, or ministries, if you wish, uh, at, at the state departments, for example, uh, they have ordered some of the specifications for us to implement, whether AI or marketing or design or just uh, traditional programming or mobile app, et cetera. So some, some, and some robotic uh, uh, hardware. Uh, so the seen some of our uh, demos and uh, so we've had those orders on the side at the moment we're managing them case by case so we come and weigh in like okay what do we benefit from that is it going to distract do we have to you know take uh, resources and put them in this project is it only financial return or do we have other benefits with you know having that credibility by being the software that is doing the labor department of UAE example. All right. That's huge. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is how we do it. So there are different values. Now for the SaaS uh, products, okay, such as OConnect, everything we just started kind like building and structuring each product as a standalone company. 
So there will be an OConnect company where it caters to SaaS ecosystem, of course, the first one. And our goal is to connect everything back to the ecosystem so the affiliates can benefit. But yet we would have a la carte or standalone where they can order, including O domain. Okay. So if somebody come want to come and like get a domain or website build or whatever with us and hosting uh, quickly with us, but they're not in the ecosystem, that will be a different route. It will be on that external uh, uh, website without the need for them to go to the ecosystem. Perhaps some products like OConnect, there will be also other names known in the market for the video conferencing services we have. So there will be O Connect, let's say with, o, with the ecosystem, rhyming with the O, et cetera. And then there will be, let's say, Andy video conferencing, a uh, standalone company, if just for the market, you can do it as white label for some companies, they want a white label, they want to have the software, et cetera, or some will have some request or modifications. So the team of Andy, VC will handle that uh, to do the justification because businesses have preferences. And it's, uh, it's something I wasn't open to in the beginning. But when you see um, the potential and the demand by these companies and, and, and you know, the disappointment uh, that they will have if we're just like limited to one option, in the beginning, we just want to make it simple, but now we are branching off. So today we don't have that route publicly, but let them see the new release of OConnect, okay? And maybe, I don't want to say time, but down the road shortly this year, we're going to have another product that is completely disruptive for the VC area. And then we'll discuss uh, which route they go. Okay. All right. I Thank wish you, very much. you could hold them a little bit uh, and they would have more choices. But our interest is to cover them as well, to give them that uh, preference they're looking for. Yeah, sure. I mean, <clears throat> with a lot of these companies, they, they, they want someone to talk to, um, you know, in order to, like you say, almost white label or... or um, uh, design specific um, so thank you for that much appreciated thank you Andy thank you Andy so by the time I'll bring Naral in um, why don't we go to Julie Pieri please and then we go to Jeffrey go ahead Julie Thank you, Mino. Hello, Mr. Ash. Pleasure to be Hello. here. Um, my question is um, concerning the payment processor. Um, you have spoken about the company having our own payment processor. If you're at Lib, can you give us an update or a time frame when it would be ready? Can you update us on that, please? if you are able to. Thank you. So, without dates or timelines, eventually we will be the payment processor for businesses and for individuals, including that micro uh, transactions we've talked about, okay? Uh, like mobile, that Terry, I think, asked. Uh, and the uh, uh, the phase we're in right now, we're having you know um, third party uh, resources available in the market. Uh, that's what we have. We have a few, and um, we uh, have multiple options um, that we kept for a higher stage when we have more volume because of uh, the volume and the diversity. There's not one solution that 
we can use that will cover everything we want. The ultimate solution will be our solution. Okay? It's not available yet. Okay. But at the moment, we use other uh, vendors and uh, payment processors. But a few we haven't shared with you yet. They're coming because of the predicted uh, volume that is coming. Thank you very much, Ms. Ash. You're welcome, Julie. Thank you. I, I, thank you, Julie. I believe Naral is here. Naral, it's your turn, please. Hello. Good day, good day. Hello, Mr. Ash. Hi, Naral. Um, hello to everyone from Australia. Uh, I did send in a question. I'll just read it to you. And I have just one other little question after that. Uh, so the question that's coming to me over here is that there are quite a few that are not seeing their trimmed links in O-Trim from Australia. Uh, I don't know about other countries. I haven't asked. Um, New Zealand is also included in that. They have said that they have tried everything, as in clearing, cache, cookies, refreshing, whatever. Uh, is this a concern from the back office or, or do the tech team know about this? Uh, it has been said that maybe it could be the internet provider, however, or our mobile provider, which is Telstra over here. However, I use the same provider and I have no concerns with my O-Trim, my links or anything like that. So that's the first no one. No problem, Narelle. If, if you are seeing the same thing, there might be something that uh, our team will check. And Julie, uh, when can you leave that in red? I'm, I'm just going to copy that to our team. Just leave it the way it is as a pending task. Uh, and uh, I'll uh, convey that to the team. They're able to access from other countries and IP addresses. So they will mm -hmm. have them check it from Australia and see if there's something on our side or any advice they would recommend. Thank you. But um, they also be did... a big problem. Yeah, we'll, they we'll also said that McAfee which I think is a security um, a company yes, that, -virus. Things, mm -hmm. that may be part of it. Um, like I said, I use Apple products, not quite sure whether McAfee is applied to myself. That's why I can get through and that's why I can see um, all the O-Trim McAfee links. is not on the iPhone, for example. That's the that's <laughs> way to right. try it. Yeah. Yeah. So try and it on a cell phone. Yeah, I did. I tried it on my cell phone and all my links and everything works. So. Um, not everybody has an iPhone, so it's just something, like you said, if it can be passed on just to be looked at to see if there's something sure. holding it there. Um, the other one was in just a little bit left field. Um, you talk about, like, the card and things like that. I just wanted to know, because one of the big concerns over here with a lot of businesses is they pay such a fortune for their FPOST machines to be able to use their FPOST machines. I'm not quite sure what you call them over there, card machines where you insert or tap, um, but... Yeah, I just wanted to know about, you know, having an availability because I know a lot of them use port portable ones. Uh, a lot of them use them from certain banks that they're with, but the fees on those FPOS machines are just outrageous. And now they're looking at passing that cost on to the customer, um, not just, you know, um, taking it in or, or accepting that, that what is. I know American Express itself is, has a very high percentage, so a lot of people don't use that. So I, that was just a little question that I wanted to um, share. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right. With that, we go to Jeffrey. Please. Uh, can you leave it in red? Uh, no, don't highlight it, please, uh, Julie. Okay, go ahead. Can you unmute, Jeffrey? We cannot hear you. No. We still have, have problem. We still can't hear you. Um, why don't we? Why don't you play with that? Maybe come back and then we'll go to message from Dr. Masego. Judy, please.
Yes. Let me do this. Thank you. I must say go. Hold on. After that, we go to Lori, Ivy, and Oliver. Okay. Um, could Ash say a little bit about Oblast strategy? How and when we can expect its implementation? For example, will it be overlap? Go simultaneously with OConnect release to the masses? How and when will be will we be able to uh, will allow to submit proposal? That's question number one. Should I ask the second, or should uh, you answer that first? Uh, let me answer that better. Uh, so about Obless uh, and as well uh, all other products, uh, we purposely wanted to hold them until the release of OConnect, whether because they rely on OConnect or uh like mechanically or uh so that the rollout process goes uh smooth uh so for those reasons and i'm gonna also include a question from uh, collins mana about the pending withdrawals so i can include that with it and also one reason another reason for not rolling out more products is we want to clear and not releasing more products and not even accepting more payments for OConnect, the first paid product. We have a pause on that. At the same time, we have uh, not released more products, though we have them ready. So we're literally leaving money on the table for us and for you, perhaps, uh, for the reason that we wanted to clear out the commissions make sure that OConnect is out the first in the upcoming official release, and then that will uh, get the others uh, get unstuck. So it, everything seems to be uh, lined up strategically just after this uh, first uh, step, which is OConnect official release, clearing out the withdrawal, and then opening with more uh, payment processes and uh, move on to more products, if that makes sense. So that kind of like combined two, three questions in one. Perfect, thank you. Could you brief us on Egypt, Africa, Arab event, and how can we help include countries that did not attend or benefit from this event? Uh, more of the, an O media area. So there are two things there that the, I would say more, but primarily I would say they're more striving for better technologies, AI, education, and media. Those are the areas that are primarily all those countries have in common and some, uh, you know, not just limited to Africa. However, some of these summits, what they do is um, they uh, exchange information and see how they can collaborate for some of the companies where they can help them advance or at least align with the, with the rest of the world. Uh, so that is the goal. So yes, we are not limited to the countries that have attended and there's no restriction for uh, who can do that. And you know, politics is involved as well. And, uh, you know, countries, uh, regimes, and all of that. But uh, for us, uh, we're, we don't say no to anyone. And uh, I think we have more work than we could ask for. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Julie, for reading that. We go to Lori, please. Then we go to Ivy and then Oliver. Hi, Ash. I'm real excited about the uh, medical things that are going to be coming through on Passive and stuff. And I was wondering, are we, would on Passive uh, do like a medical insurance in the future that, you know, it'd be a lower cost or um, implemented in medical doctors and things? If I tell you my objective for this uh, target and purpose tonight, I'll be assassinated. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that should give you the answer. 
Okay. Thank you, Ash. All right. Great. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, they by don't the time like what we are doing. Period. Gotcha. And it's a big industry. Okay, so we're going to go to Oliver before we go to Ivy. Oliver, go ahead, please. Yeah, hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Ash. Yeah, um, my question, the first one was, was already asked by Julie. So, but the next one is about the state the payment processor. Um, would that be running in our own um, AI data center? And uh, how far are we with our AI data center? Thank you. Well, good to see Oliver. Um, Thank you. I shared uh, almost daily. I work with uh, Mr. Frank. He's also from Cameroon, another sharp guy. Uh, so he reminds me of you constantly, uh, almost every day. So <laughs> Thank you. many sharp people come from uh, Cameroon that I know. Uh, the uh, payment processor, uh, I'm sorry, The uh, uh, I think you also wanted to ask about the payment processor too, but it's yes. been covered, I think, uh, fairly enough. Yes. The uh, yes. data center is set fairly to go this year, okay? Uh, I don't want to say six months away and all of that. You never know. This is not a small project. This is a big one. But if all goes well, uh, we uh, will uh, end up this year having uh, the entire ecosystem hosted with us, payment processor, everything is hosted with us, especially ONET, OPAL, all of that. You have to have your data center, your own hosting, because there's something called AWS. Yes. They're mafia. Yes. They're, yes. they're your partners by by force when it comes to hosting yes. for those who don't know amazon web service is the host most businesses use currently including x and godaddy and everybody okay uh they're not cheap yes. they have no mercy and they don't mind taking your children not just your money So yeah, I'm I'm very optimistic it will be this year complete. It's not a nor it's not a normal project the size that we're working on all of that. But I have to tell you, uh, our IT uh, uh, team did an incredible work. They tr basically traveled to every continent. They traveled the world to come up with something that is disruptive, something that is unique, and it will be cost effective for the users, for the company, environment friendly, uh, the whole nine yard. So uh, I think we're gonna change that game. Okay. For, okay. for decades, it's been almost exclusive and monopoly to a couple players on that topic. And that's why they, dic they dictate the price. But to be honest with you, the technology is, is a, a bit outdated now. You know, the servers that you used to use in 2000, like Google's servers in 2000, the size and the number of machine you needed back then, you could replace a whole farm by one device today. You understand that? Yeah. Size, effectiveness, speed, cost, everything has changed. They're monster machines nowadays. Yeah, then uh, the other question, the, the, my other question on the AI data center, are we going to, are we going to um, bring in other companies or commercialize uh, our AI data center? Both. Good. Uh, why, why I'm saying this because like um, uh, AWS, they do have the, the, the um, S3 bucket that is like, a, it's like an emitter. The more data comes right. in, the more money they right. charge you. So yes. the earlier, the earlier we speed up us, so that we will house all our applications Hybrid. and everything. Yeah. Yes. 
So remember, the there's a standard the ecosystem needs, okay, for the SaaS products. And then there is yeah. the enterprise level that we will open to that public, okay? So let's say, uh, remember Andy VC business model? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's say that's not OConnect, but it's like another video conferencing application that is open to the public and uh, that requires hosting. So we need to have our own hosting scalable, of course, our data center and to be able to cater to any uh, demand. Uh, uh, so that is the case. So it will be different. And, but you know, also, um, we use MongoDB for, uh, the graphic, you know, that for the media. Okay. Yes. So it's not 100% yes. AWS. I don't know if you knew okay. that, but we also use MongoDB. Uh, people, you don't have to wow. worry about that if you don't know. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you. Thank How you, about uh, for a nice break, Mr. Ash? In just a few minutes, it's literally Oliver's birthday, March I the was... 2nd. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> a beautiful date. Hey, it's also Ivy's birthday for another Today. eight minutes. Another eight you minutes. Better, <laughs> you better get in a happy birthday, Ash, or yes. I'm going to fire you. <laughs> beautiful. So what is it like to... 1901 or 2001 because the pattern here three two what's next one what is it Nine, 81 91 71 <laughs> Ivy, say, no one. say something ivy <laughs> oh my god it is when i saw that date i said i'm going to claim it i'm going to tell everybody that ash is having a birthday party on my birthday that's all, and that's what we have. So, yeah, thank you so much, Ash, for tonight. It's been amazing, and um, um, the third, the first of March is always an auspicious date um, all over the world. Three one. So, um, I I just know that all that we've done tonight and what is going to go forward from now um is going to be a good thing it's like all the things you've said like the the i like the alternative uh lifestyle like you have having two of everything is okay go we have two eyes and everything so if we have always have a backup that is really nice that is really comforting that is showing that we're going to go a long way and we're going to be around for very long so i had also um written in my comments that I happen to live next to the Blue Origin and the Lockheed Martin offices. And just like uh, Mr. Oliver was saying, um, mm. when you think of other companies, like we just living next to two big space giants, I also think that will be a greater giant. So every time the third building, I look at it and I say, on passive will be here one day and will be bigger than all of them. And um, we have so many um, Indians, like you just said, you know, the wealth of knowledge that God gave that region on um, computer. We have them in this city, you know, because they also man the visa offices. The visa office also, also is next to that building. So every day it makes me think of our expansion. So I just want to say all that you said tonight is uh, in order and I just did not, it's not like I don't have a question. The question I'll ask is whenever you think of coming to um, expand in Colorado, they are, you just have a place. So those were the comments I had made and I told Mino, I said, I'll just say something that is on my heart and I just wanna say thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abby. You know, I like uh, how you said it, to be there, okay? Uh, I don't like to replace or bankrupt somebody or give them out to business. Uh, yeah, there's room for success to everyone. I sent uh, Marty. Marty has no look at it yet. I sent him the pictures of the building. I said, one day we'll be all together. So thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. Thank you.
Right. So with that, we go to Vincent. Then um, he has a question to read for Jeffrey Moloch. So Vincent, please. Okay, well, let's go to Key. Please read Jeff's message. Then uh, Julie Wynn is going to read Satya's question. Hey, Minnow. Yes, yes. It's Jeffrey. I, I'm back on. I refreshed, so I'm good now. Awesome. Thank you, Minnow, and thank you, Key. Um, good evening. Uh, Mr. Mufar, it's so good to see you. Thank you, uh, and everybody here, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be following the uh, the tech guys here. I think they're awesome, and I'm right in line with that. Uh, we've had some recent advancements in blockchain lately. Some of them are great. The DeFi was a no-brainer. Um, but I do know that you had indicated earlier that the blockchain that we're going to be using and the blockchain that we're developing, um, along with like your AI it's going to be for internal purposes, but I'm wondering if we're ever going to look at making me maybe making blockchain as a service, uh, something that we'll do along with the other data system things or data centers, um, you know, the, the platforms as a service or maybe information as a service. Will we at some point offer blockchain as a service? Do you think? Initially, like I said, more uh, good to see you as well, Jeffrey. And I agree with you uh, about the guys. We're we're so blessed to have them, uh, the intelligence Cameroonian crew, and all other tech guys. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, th there are different uses of of that. But initially, our goal is to keep it uh, like to have it for intel uh, internal use uh, for applications as standalone and secondly for the entire ecosystem and marketplace to basically have that data monetization for marketing purposes for you know speed and replication all of that so that is the initial thing uh, to go outside that uh, of course for transactional uh, uh, pieces uh whether it's the finance or medical all of that uh, that is going to be uh, the second phase so initially we're going to keep it for our users secondary at least internally and second second phase will be uh, to, to go beyond that i still didn't say that we're offering that as a service uh i didn't get to the point where we're planning to have to offer it as a service uh, there will be a better uh, person to talk about that. I will be happy to ask them if the scope of work we have right now is going to lead us to that eventually. I am not so much interested in it, but if they have a, good, a better view and why should we make it available uh, for companies or individuals, uh, we can definitely benefit from that. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, Miss Julie, you want to read Satya's question, please? Um, yes, I will do that right now. Mm -hmm. um, the future in O Connect to switch from desktop to mobile and from mobile to desktop. Yes. So what's the question? I guess uh, he would like to know if you have the updates on that. Let me read. Friend comments. Yeah. Yeah, that's all he said. Uh, please ask uh, on my behalf about the future of O-Connect to switch from desktop to mobile and switching devices. So I guess I he... It's a byproduct. It's uh, right now we have it available on all those different formats, and uh, uh, the new release also. I don't know if um, if the Tech Pro know that the uh, mobile app of uh, ecosystem is an authentic 
you know, it's an original uh, mobile app. In OConnect is not. You understand the difference? Maybe Collins can address that one of those sessions. So the new release, OConnect, is going to be authentic OConnect with that. So the switch, the switch is easy right now. If you're logged in the ecosystem and um, you know you close one device, you open the other device. But to have it to where the active application that you have open as a part of our AI progression, eventually, if you close one device or the computer shut down, I think I'm going to address something uh, John White asked. Uh, this is really good. OK. Uh, John White asked, OK, I'm going to say it, if it's OK, unless he's able to talk. And I'm going to mix it with this question about the switching technologies or uh, applications between in, in OConnect and, and, and everything else. John White said, what technology innovations has been the most challenging to develop with which one has given you the most uh, uh, joy and satisfaction. So let's take about the most challenging, the part, what technologies are challenges, uh, challenging. Uh, so for example, one of the uh, uh, challenges we had, you would never know it, okay? You don't even know that we're working on it. So let's say you're now on uh, OConnect and your power goes off it goes out okay shut down or your machine okay if you're a speaker your picture is going to freeze on the screen with us we it, it, that's it we cannot see it you cannot talk you cannot but it's still going to hold the place that and that is a challenge for us we're told that we're like almost two weeks away from that and it was a blocker to release uh, this OConnect, and I finally two days ago I gave the uh, the OK and the green light to go without it because 99.99 of us would never experience that. But in case you experience it, it's a challenge. But I think we're very close to the uh, resolution to that. When we solve it, you're able to if your power goes out. If your machine gets freezes or whatever, it's not going to affect the application. And let's say you log in from a different device, and AI is going to know which application you're currently using. So it's almost like you just switch device, but it will be on the exact spot, exact exact session, as a synced uh, application. It's synced all across the different devices. So we didn't solve it it was a challenge if that helps you uh, john white to know what was some of the challenges that's one we have so many it's no secret we're we're changing so many things we have crazy ideas but we believe there's a solution to everything like this one okay so uh, that's uh, that's the thing so it's in time you're not going to have any issue to switch devices it would be seamless but even more than that, uh, your account is going to pick up from where you left. It's almost like saving your work automatically. It's important. Let's say you're typing O mail and you have like half a page. Something happens. Let's say your internet connection goes down. You don't want to lose that. So it should auto save. All right. Hope this helps. Great. So looks like um, Charles has a comment to make, but we go to Niraj. Niraj has a question and hopefully a question. And then we go to Charles. Um, Niraj, please. Uh, first of all, thank you, Minu, and thank you, uh, Ron, for the invitation. And uh, yes, uh, it's a question, and it's a related question. So uh, the, my first question, sir, uh, is about the bulk payments. Uh, like, uh, uh, 
it, uh, my question was is the test complete of 100 people and if yes then the other uh, payments uh, from which email are they coming because a lot of people are getting spams uh, or or not understanding whether it is a spam or it is related to the same so if you could throw some light on that i'm glad thank you so much uh, neeraj that's a good question i'm glad uh, we're aware of it okay um in a in general don't ever pay money to get money if somebody is trying to uh abuse your email by saying pay this because you're going to get that don't ever pay that on passive doesn't ask you to pay money by email okay and if anything happens we will always give you heads up to that you can only just use your cart from the main marketplace that's how you can subscribe to our product and that's the only way so we don't send email we don't put a pop-up or facebook or ash is like collecting none of that is genuine all of it scam do you see the headline delete don't read i would never ask you for money i don't even access facebook i don't use it i'm not going to send you an email to ask you for money not the company is going to do that there's a marketplace proper shopping cart checkout through the system that's the only way all right don't respond to anybody. Nobody's going to collect money on, on our behalf. Now, the bulk mail had some issues. That's why we had to pause it. So we had, we had issues. We paused it. And if all goes well with the backup plan, we might not need to send that email. It will be through or verify in the back office. So we by, by, bypass sending that link by email. It was a little bit, uh, I would say, inconvenient and difficult. Uh, it's not user friendly, and for that reason, we paused it. The truth, okay. Uh, and the second or the next upcoming one, the bulk mail, rather it will be uh, handling all in, in one, you know, without having to go through this the scaling uh, issue. I think within a short period, I'll be able to address, go check, everybody's paid out, 100%. Very, very close to that, okay? So we're gonna clear things out without having to stage it, as previously we, we did, uh, with a better uh, uh, option, without the, the, you know, the need to go and do the KYC by email for an external company. Uh, it was not my preference, but I took that over zero. At the time, we had nothing. So I needed to get that, uh, you know, moving at least slower, more difficult, but better than zero. Okay. So we, you know, it's, it's not a difficult cho uh, choice, uh, but because it was not uh, smooth, so we decided to halt that. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, and good news for India, we will be able to pay bulk in those uh, cards. You would have to order the card. It will be by uh, order. And uh, it's an option. You don't have to. Uh, our goal also to have net uh, pay. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, net banking in India. So our goal to have that, so it will be instant. But you know it's limited to a daily one lakh. Uh, 100,000 Indian rupee INR. Um, that is the rule. and But we are going to give options, okay? So we'll give you the net banking, we'll give you the card. Uh, with everything they did to me, India, I'm still spoiling them. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess love is, is powerful. So uh, Ash, uh, I will also get, I'm Indian or here in Canada? Uh, you have a good advantage. You can play Indian when you need to. <laughs> that, that's and you can play Canadian when they're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> if you're giving money over there, I'll go to India. Then when you're giving money here, I'll come here. Okay. With that, let's go to Charles Osan Common, please. Thank you for your patience, Charles. 
Oh, thanks, Minu, and thanks, everybody. I actually have a comment and a question, right? But I'll start with a comment because I am overwhelmed with joy today after this webinar. So uh, just so you know, Ash, I had never doubted this business even one second from the day I listened to you the very first time. I, I already anticipated these difficulties. As a matter of fact, it, to me, it's still record timing for what, what's being accomplished, in my opinion. Okay, Not that I don't need money. I do need money more than anybody else. But I also do understand that these kind of things take time, right? So I'm ultra, ultra patient. And I'm really, really overjoyed today, especially you recounting what you've gone through. So as we are just at a good place. We just see the good things, the easy, you know, the easy part. And I always knew that this project is divine. And because God gave it to you, he will give you the people to work with you and to get you out of it successfully in due time. And when God gives you a project, the project is delivered in its own timing, not ours. We may want it today, tomorrow, but he has his timing. And he has let you grow into it so that you can now overcome. So I'm really, really, very glad. I, you talk about the phases, the ecosystem being the first phase. You talk about starting phase two, phase three. Never mind the dependencies that might be in between, just because you have people that are engineers. And we are, I'm really, really comfortable hearing that. I'm happy about just the idea of the unpassive group. OK? So it keeps me at a place where I'm sure today is going to be one of my best days ever with this company. OK? So thank you. Congratulations for everything that you've done, accomplished to you and to the team and to all of those who have believed in you and the vision from day one. I just want to thank everybody. OK? Now, the question. Today in the market, we have devices, applications that run in the 4K resolution. I know you have once told us that our old connect can go up to 8K. True. And you also said, but, but because it can go up to 8K doesn't mean we can use it at 8K because of that bottleneck out there for those devices. You also mentioned to us that OnPassive is going to be coming out with devices, hardware devices that can handle the 8K. So it's just going to make O-Connect run at the lightning speed and clarity. Now, the question is, any updates on those hardware devices, if it's possible for you to talk about it? If not, it's OK. We'll wait as usual, because we know it's coming. It's a done deal. They were done since April 2023, roughly a year ago. And you cannot release them, and you're not uh, officially satisfied with the uh, product or to where you want to take it. Now is the time. So since we're coming out to uh, the stable and uh, uh, you know viral commercial release, uh, it will be more reasonable to include other uh, products and add to that the payment processor, the commissions, all of that. So we don't want to start into selling devices, technologies, hardware, tools before nailing or connect and before clearing um, the pending uh, payments and having a long run you know, for the uh, purchasing. So those are the reasons. So there's okay. nothing else to to wait for except the strategic plan in the logistics, but they are done. That is good to know. That's going to take us at another level as far as the competition. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. We have a question from Dr. Benny that Julie is going to read, please, and then we go to Joyce. How many more we have left? Uh, That's it. 
that would be it. So who we have? I'm sorry, next. Uh, Dr. Bini has a question. Julie is going to read it. Okay. And then Joyce is going to make a nice comment. Or... Hello, Mr. Ash. I did do a withdrawal. I did not receive any system email up until now. It has been a month. I am still waiting for the response. That means it's not processed. So yeah, some people requested from October, did not receive. So I'm sure I'm, I'm not sure what's the question. Uh, she's probably hasn't been aware. We have uh, paused the, the withdrawal process and the payment process for the reason of the processes and the uh, uh, you know payout uh, system and that is what we just talked about almost ready to clear all of that out so it is not a problem there's no issue it's just uh, there's a delay in the uh, execution of that the truth I'm, I'm not saying we have payments from last year uh, pending and that's why we're not accepting more payments and uh, that's what we've been talking about the whole session soon will be addressed so you will know <laughs> thank you thank you that uh, mr. Ash and um, Joyce please thank you Manu hello Ash and thank you Ryan for this platform um, I just wanted to comment and say um, I'm just so excited about what's going on and where we're going. And um, when you were talking about the challenges that you've had and because of the challenges, it's made you the person that you are. And it's taken us to the point where we are right now. And, you know, in life without challenges, the bigger the the um, the bigger the dream, the more adversaries that we have the harder and the so, battle that's yeah. right the harder the battle but you have come through the battle and i know that god is is our ordained you for this and um like you said it's a done deal so we are just so excited and we're so blessed to be in this place that you decided to bring us along and you know when you said there's a the, when the locomotive train stop starts to go there is no stopping it and so i'm just really uh, blessed to, to be here in this space and to be in the place that um, God has allowed and that you have um, brought us along with. And when you're talking about all these things that are happening and the people that you've attracted, that is just so amazing, Ash. And I'm just kudos to you, to the team and to everyone that someone said that what made these people attract you because um, positive and intelligence attracts that. So you're attracting the people that God has placed in your path to be there. So thank you again so much and the team and everyone that's working so hard behind the scenes where you don't have to do this, but you do it because you have the heart for people, the heart for humanity and the heart just to love and just, you know, and like I said, when I met you, you were just that person. You were honest. You were, you were intelligent. You were down to earth. You were funny. You were loving and you made all of us feel like we were the only person in the room. And I know that that will continue to um, radiate from you. And because of what you've done, now we're able to see life differently and we're able to do life differently. We're able to just to love people more and to accept people more and just really appreciate you for all that you've done, for all that you're going to do. And it's going to happen. It's a done deal. People stop worrying. Chillax. We got this. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joyce. means a lot from you. Uh, you just have to up your game and get better. And uh, I agree with you. Uh, not only I wouldn't give up, I wouldn't do anything else. That's the only thing I would do. I was born for this. <laughs> Mr. Ash, I sent you something to your phone from uh, Narelle. I think you should probably look at that. I left her a little note that she went with her too. Something you guys could probably look at. It might might make sense. Joyce is from Michigan. That's why she is who she is. That's Michigan blood there. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. At least she didn't sell it out for a warmer place. <laughs> yeah, you know. 
Well, so far in the panel, um, Dan Street hasn't said a word, and Rafia, if you have anything to say, then we wrap it up beautifully with Julie Wynn. Go ahead, Dan or Rafia. No, I'll say, I'll say a couple of things. Uh, thank you, Ed, for everything. Uh, uh, all my questions I had were answered, so I didn't pop in and uh, and uh, say anything. Uh, you know, as long as long as everybody here believes in this uh, this process and this journey, and I'm one of those believers that I just know that the the process is going forward, and and uh, as long as everybody stays engaged, I mean. It's just a trust issue. We all trust in on passive and Ash and the team that he's put together, and and uh, and you're comfortable with all of the the processors and the uh, the team and everybody that you've put together. So that, that's the that's the only comment I have. And and I just uh, we're just blessed. All of us are just blessed to be uh, a part of this. And this has been and and you know what? Oak Connect is running perfectly tonight i it's so clear everybody is so clear and uh you know there's no issues at all and this isn't even the final version so that's exciting so thanks again ash and thanks everybody it's been it's been a wonderful webinar appreciate you dan thank you so much i'm glad all right i now uh, norel messaged me that john white has his hand raised yeah john are you here uh, he's texting me right now. I don't know if you came back. I did, John. Unless you got more. Oh, while we wait for John White, I'll, let me say what's up to all. Um, thank you, Mino. Thank you, Ron. Hello to you, Mr. Ash. Um, my question to you, Mr. Ash, I know we talked about some products tonight. Uh, most of my questions have been answered already. Um, is there coming sometime in the future where on um, passive will have their own devices which are infused with on um, passive own hardware like say take for instance mobile devices laptops and stuff like that that's my question i missed that i'm sorry uh i don't i might be lagging because i'm on a hot spot i mean someone else heard what i asked the um Repeat it from no, go list. for it. Go for one more time. Okay, I'm asking if, if sometime in the future we talked about products earlier, is on passive gonna have a product that is take for instance using a mobile device, a phone, laptop that is infused with on passive on hardware. That's what I'm asking. Uh I, I heard you exactly, but I'm trying to make sense or to 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 okay. Take, take, to, like to for instance, the, to, for instance, you know, Apple has for Apple has their own their own devices with their own hardware. Uh, what on passive has something similar to that? Are you saying like our software works on a specific hardware? Or the other yes. way around. Yes, specific hardware, um, specifically for on passive. Uh, not, we 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 haven't had a plan for that yet. Um, I'm not sure if I completely understand you, but or your. Uh, uh, so, in uh, Ash, what what he is trying to say here is, you know, for instance, the way they have the Apple hardware and it's and the building with iOS and you have the Android um, tablet and it will on pass have something like that. Correct. No, not, not that we planned anything yet. Any any reason for that, Raphael? Why would we do well, it? Well, I'm just asking because- compatible yeah. with every uh, phone <laughs> provider or device or hardware provider with any operating system should be compatible. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I, I know that eventually we're going to, and very soon, we're going to own it. So that's why I asked that particular question. <laughs> you know? I, I get it. If we, own, if we own it, then we would cover everything. <clears throat> Got it. Yeah, not yet. We're not planning to have any exclusivity of that uh, on that direction for now. 
Understood. Unless you want us to start thinking of that. Yeah. I think <laughs> it would be nice. Or even even yet, um, say for instance, now I'm using a hotspot because my internet service here in the Bahamas was not, uh, in Elutra actually was down all day from about 10 a.m. So I'm on a hotspot just to be on this webinar from my phone data. So will we have something that with Overify, uh, not Overtro, that would um solve that problem? Understood. Uh, not yet. Okay. So you're. Uh, Raphael, you know what's the problem with most women? Uh oh! Wait, wait, wait! Disclaimer! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Disclaimer! Kidding. Disclaimer! <laughs> or wives, wives to be specific, they have high expectations from us. We're not that deep, okay? <laughs> they really think we're that complicated. No, we're. we're... So you probably have. Uh, too much well, expectations. Well, my, 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 my thing is that I figure you had all the easy questions earlier, so I just will give you one for your brain at the end. Thank you. Okay. I I'm think good. With that, we go to Julie. You hey, wait, have wait, your wait, questions. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Does she have a question? Because Naraj has a bounce question. Julie got a question or comment? Can, can I bring Naraj in? Because you know, he gets all wants me to hug him and stuff if I don't give his weight. So come on, sure. Naraj. <laughs> you owe me. You owe me, Naraj. Yeah, definitely. I owe you. <laughs> Ash, uh, one more question. Uh, like, uh, can you uh, give us a uh, sequence of activities for March uh, 2024? You talked about. Uh, the O Connect commercial version. You talked about clearing the bulk payments. You talked about launching new products. Uh, could you uh, also touch up something on traffic and bonus if you are allowed, uh, or any other activities that we can expect in March or later? Have you been talking to Rafael before? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I appreciate that. I know you. I know you, Neaj. Okay, you're asking for others, but uh, I wish one day it would become like we've got enough for the day. Uh, we're happy with that, but uh, but I think we have to realistically allow the company to do what's real, what's possible. Okay. Uh, if, if we have that tense of, everybody's like focusing on one area. I know a common area is like the withdraw. Another common area is to, for those who don't have withdraw, they want to generate, uh, money or basically be given money for nothing. And that's, they're expecting to have enough traffic to generate that. So this is really over expectations and where others, you know, might have, and I, I like that too everybody's valid there's no wrong or right okay uh it's just a preference there there may be uh, having some preference on some products or they want to have more products open in the uh, marketplace so they can generate more revenue others they just that's it they got what we have now next like you know it's like that entertainment uh vibe uh so everybody has their own uh prediction expectation and all of that uh i really ask and i hope you can understand uh it is more productive to let the company achieve what's possible what's realistic in a, a proper manner without having that like pressure oh no ouch we have to focus on this now and you know we really have our hands are full in every possible way time people resources there's nothing else we believe like we're we're behind with her um so let us finish and you know i think we're doing more than any company would do for you uh but uh it 
you have to make up your own common sense. And I'm not saying to Neeraj, please, uh, everybody understand. He's, he's an amazing guy. He's asking for others, okay? And he asks amazing questions. So I'm asking everybody to think about, like, make up, like, make common sense. So if you're focused on that, like, does it make sense now to get into other bonuses or traffic or, you know, the priority for us, you know, for example, to release the commercial OkaNet and open the um, the payment processor again or, you know, add more, release the previous uh, uh, withdrawal, open more, open, you know, so make up, make up, you know, the connection. You would probably decide maybe it will be healthier to talk about this maybe in a couple of weeks, you know, once that clears up. And, and to respect everybody, some people come with a question previous to the session, and that's what they had in mind. And they ignore what they've learned throughout the session because they just like set their mind for that question. So make sure, well, I think it's fairly addressed or, you know, uh, you can make up your own uh, analogy about that and walk away with understanding. And it might be probably more, I don't want to say appropriate, more meaningful in a couple of, everything is appropriate, okay? Uh, but it probably be more relevant and meaningful in another time. Thank you, Ash. Thank you. Thank you, Niraj. Um, I know our, uh, I call her uh, on passive sweetheart, Janet Butler. I know you are crazy busy taking notes, and I know you wanted to stay in the back, but you're just going to have to say something. We love you. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here just doing some editing, um, but no, I'm listening. It's nice to be here. No, I, I've enjoyed being here. Always love hanging out with um, all of you guys. Um, you know, one day looking forward to just meeting and seeing everybody. That's it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Janet. Yeah. And why do you call her the sweetheart of Unpassive? Yes. <laughs> the princess. All right, with that, Miss Julie, you probably have a question or two. Uh, Julie, when? Uh, yes, I do have a question, but do you have someone that you were wanting to have the master question first? Uh, I think I went through my list. Okay, all right. Yes. Give me one second. Let me go through the list really quick. Um, Did John Boyd got a chance to speak? John, if you are here. Ash, check your phone again. Something in the chat I want you to see, please. John, can you unmute? John White, can you unmute? Who said that? No, that's not true. Yes. He's, a, he's a naysayer, Ash. I don't know how he got in here, but you might want to check that, what you can find out from that. The name. So I can, um, you want the name? Put them out. Yeah. Chris McNair. No, I texted, so, or... <laughs> I sent you the whole message. While uh, y'all are doing your text thing, uh, John White, go ahead and speak for us. Man. Hi, John. Can't hear you, buddy. Can you hear us, John? He, he, can hear look, us. he looks frozen to me. No, he's moving. I can see his, he's just skinny. <laughs> Maybe that's it. <laughs> lost, lost a lot of weight. <laughs> he has. I John, can it. you speak? Now we can't oh, hear you, buddy. We, we, we heard we heard him slightly. Yeah, speak up, oh, did John. You? 
Is that him or somebody else? Thanks, like somebody um, else, Ash. It, it was him, uh, Mr. Ash, but I think his internet is, because for me it looks frozen, so he might be cutting in and out. All right, with that, um, there is a question from Trevor Peters. Julie, if you would read that, please. John, call my cell phone. Yeah, yes, Manu. Let me take a look at the question really quick. Hold on. At what moment do you feel that on passive will become a common name such as Google, Apple, Nike, Amazon, Sony? And at what milestone must we across or what must must we cross to achieve this status? Uh, Trevor Peters, very good question. Yeah. Uh, the main thing is I do believe it will be. Uh, and as Ivy said, uh, you know, she envisions that we're one of the big players at the global stage. I do believe we will be. It's hard to know when. I mean, how can I know? But I know it will be a household uh, name and, and brand recognized with the big dogs. And at some point, I do believe that it will be more important to our life than others because of what we would provide in the coming, uh, upcoming stages. What's your feeling? Trevor, but I, I know he's not talking. Could be a couple of years. Hey, Ash, I can I can talk on that. Please. I uh, I do believe we are now, not in the future. At now, we are now. If you go to Dubai Mall, you go to the train station, you go um, um, Abu Dhabi. You know, you with all the tourists that are going there, I think it's already a kitchen name. That's my belief. And I strongly hold on that. I agree with you. In some areas, uh, like we because we are known, okay, or we're more impactful. But but I want to also be more practical uh, in terms of what we offer and uh, the daily uses of of a broader customer base. We're not there yet, okay. The many people use Google, Apple, Amazon for those uh, different reasons. We're not there yet, okay? We have a good buzz, okay? Um, thanks to our media and marketing departments. And the way we do things, you know, we have a style where we have a swag, if you wish. Uh, but uh, I know we're going to be there, and I know we will be more merciful and more... Uh, people will trust us more in terms of uplifting humanity and they recognize that we were truly intended uh to to improve their life despite who they are and where they come from and their ability and all of that if you're no value to youtube let's say if if you cause trouble or hassle guess what you're out in a blink. You could have 1 million or 10 million customers. I have cases. I know. You could have millions of followers. You work years and years and years to build that customer base and followers. You work so hard to build it. And one tiny violation, you're out. You're nothing to them. Unless you're a value to them and you increase their bottom line, yeah, they keep you. But anything else, you're out. Just a number. Nobody cares about you. Nothing with heart. So that's that's an advantage I believe we have. We're distinguished in our humanity and our, uh, you know, heart.
And I have never said uh, this to Trevor or to you or to Oliver. As Ash Mufara, I have never, 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 never sat down and calculated, oh, I wish we would have this many people or this number. I never go on that. But what I do is when we're building something, I know this could attract so and so number. So my duty and my part is to be prepared for that so we can serve effectively. But I never, oh, I wish we can crush them. I wish we could kill. Uh, no, I don't have that mind. Maybe my son has that num in mind, but not me. I believe we were created to add value to everybody, not to take value or not to take away value from anyone. Okay, so three, three hours and a half, if you see the clock at the top. Mr. Uh, Ash, would you please allow one more person? Yeah, of course. Uh, Lynn Nakamoto has some either comments or questions. Go ahead, please. Oh, thank you, Madhu. Yeah. Um, I have a, a question regarding um, the future, Ash Mufara. You know, we're talking about today and all that's been happening, but I really would like to know what your vision is for on passive and where it will be 10 years or more from now. Mm, I love that question. That's more uh, rational. Um, I would say definitely will be done with the first three phases on earth and that is the time I'm actually looking for. I'm 50 years old, though I don't look like it. I'm not uh, aging in any way. Thank you, thank you. I, I know, I, but <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't plan when I'm 80. I don't plan when I'm 70. I don't know my mental capacity or any other capacity I have. So I'm working so hard that within the next 10 years, I completely unload everything in my potential, including the main three phases of Unpassive, which, uh, and, and they will definitely reshape the planet in every aspect. The life is gonna be 10 years from now, 2034, 35, it, there's going to be a very, very e easy, distinguished difference between the life before Unpassive and the life after Unpassive. And the inventions and the things that will be in our daily details will be live, and I believe in every household. My, if you ask me my wish, or maybe at least a hope for that, May God lead us to, as fast as possible, to the right people and more of the talented people that they can carry the mission alongside with us and we can speed up the process effectively without drama, without manipulation and abuse like, you know, the previous couple of years. I'm very hopeful for that. I'm very hopeful because uh, we, we get better. Every stab, every exercise every challenge uh as uh les brown says if you can look up you can get up right every time we get smacked in the next hour we're planning something else you cannot crush us you cannot crush us because we will do this because we're not we're doing it for the right reasons i like your question man so i believe uh, it will be very very obvious within 10 years uh, time reasonably i like that time uh, line uh, it there there has to be an obvious noticeable difference between the life before on passive say now okay so 2024 the life is something now I will be I will be I'm almost confident it will be in a different position much better collectively in 10 years from today. And how old would the Rob Gorman be? 85. 85. 
he will be sexy and hot and young too. <laughs> 85 years young. He doesn't look like it, man. I look like his uncle. How old is your oldest kid, uh, Rob? Your first kid. First kid is 51. 51. Older than me. Wow. I'm going to be calling you Uncle Rob, okay? Rob, Rob could be your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> he's me, but, but he's in a better shape. My dad looks like his grandpa. Did you hear that, Chris? He said, easy, Johnson. Oh, I heard him. I'm in Florida. I didn't need the computer. I heard him. <laughs> <laughs> Just open the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who else, uh, Minu? Um, um, Julie, and else? then Ron will wrap it up and put a bow on it. So, Julie? Uh, Julie, you want to uh, take a look at the... the yes. We have one, two, three, yes. four highlighted... Uh, or five. Yes. So, five. You know what? We have Lynn spoke. So well, Rob has uh, questions. No, I, I miscounted. No, no. How many? How many? One, two, three. Two. Remember, Narel is pending. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Four, and mine is five. So we have five left. Go ahead, Julie. I'll, I'll wrap it up after you're done. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, Lynn just spoke, so uh, let's address Rob's questions. Would that be okay with you, Mr. Ash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Yeah, it's right here. Um, he spoke about um, physical products. So let me get to him. Okay. So which uh, Rob? Uh, uh, Rob uh, Woman. Okay. Right Your, daddy. Your daddy. Your <laughs> daddy. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's here. He can ask it. Yes. Would you please have him, Rob ask the question? Son, how you doing? It's It's been a while since I've seen you, son. Hey, Uncle. How many sons do you have that you can mix them up? Huh? Can't mix them up. I got four, and I guess you've been added to the mix. So there you go. Very good. All right. So, um, yeah, my question was about the, the physical products. Uh, I know you had, had alluded to the fact that uh, since April of last year, there's something that's either finished or just about to be finished. Uh, will that product uh, be available, do you feel, uh, to the general public, or will it just be available to the founders initially? So I think the very first uh, couple of uh, physical products are, uh, they're a number, okay? Uh, they're not a couple. Uh, so they will be, uh, hardware equipments and devices and wires and uh, audio video components for uh, O-Connect. That is the first wave of uh, hardware products. So obviously past this month, it would be a more reasonable time to start uh, deploying some of them to make them available within the ecosystem uh, for O-Connect. Does it mean uh, Anybody else out in the public can use them for other products? Yes. Okay. Um, but they would be more meaningful and branded and perfectly work uh, with O-Connect. So we don't have plan to put them out to the public, though we could just put them on a public website. Uh, but we're not that hungry for sales per se. I got it. I'm ready to rumble. I sent you a package. You should get it Monday. Thank you. I appreciate that. You didn't have to, but that's I know. very nice of you. No, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up at the office for you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Don't let Johnson anywhere near. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. Appreciate it. Julie Wen. We have a question from Pat Perrin. Ms. Yes, she's asking about the, uh, go ahead, Julie, you want to read it or should I just address it? Go ahead. Would you please address it? It's regarding to uh, products that start with letter B, O, B something, so. Yeah. 
So I mentioned Ovatar yesterday. What else did I say? Eris, I... Maybe I was given an example or something. Anybody else remember our conversation? Yeah, yesterday? we were talking about O booking. Yeah. Oh, O booking. Okay. Yeah. So what? Well, do you think that's what she's asking about? She's she's no. asking about the uh, the breather. Okay. Yes. But breather so let me actually let me just read it um just so that uh, everyone could could uh, hear the question mr asks uh as we spoke before about breathing uh concentrator machine i am curious if when you said yesterday <coughs> three, uh, there are another ob product coming uh if that was o breathe right wahoo um no that's, that's booking yeah or overtar okay uh so let's put it this way, uh, uh, Pat and everybody else. Uh, so we have created a device. Oh, no, that's going to get me in trouble. Well, let's put it that way. Uh, I'm not going to say what it does and, why, and, and all the details. So it's done, and I think it's been nearly two years or so. Okay, done. All right? Completely done. But we haven't done mass production, and we didn't strategize a market plan for it. Okay, that's it. So the product that you and I know, Pat and everybody, okay, which is a breather, concentrator, uh, machine that runs pretty much for a lifetime, uh, that is done as a prototype, as individual tests. You understand? But we didn't do that in mass production nor had a plan to how to roll it out. It just, I guess, it's either not a priority or not the mass or massive demand as it would have been during the pandemic. And in that, I really oppose the profitability aspect of it. I feel like we should just like produce them and give them away. See, do a head count, how many people in the world need it, ship them, everybody. Maybe we can make that a project in O-Connect. I'm sorry, on O-Bless. Uh, we, we, we go do analytics, how many people are in need, get their addresses, get the database. Is it reasonable? I make it on me and ship it to everybody. Or, you know, we can create a campaign if it's overwhelming in uh, Obless and everybody gets a device and they breathe for life. It's oxygen, guys. Uh, Ash, how, how do you if, want me to sell that? If you took if you took that device to a national, the NBRC national conference, which is done once a year in the United States and let get the feedback from therapists and organizations across the United States, it would be Okay, I have yeah. more than that. I don't want to get into it, but I also have something about cancer. Okay, and um, if if I if I put any information out to the public at the moment, at the moment, my life is at the line. That's I, the problem. The I other understand. thing is the other thing. The breather is not just about the medical benefit and component, and you know FDA, mm -hmm. you know corruption and uh, crap. I care right. less about that because it does work and it does save life and it's inexpensive and it can last, last life uh, lifetime. So it goes completely at the opposite of the logic of the uh, medical system that we have, which is to make money and suck your blood and who cares about your health. That's how it goes. So if they know not, it, it will be exposing the other breakthrough that we have about the energy side. You understand? I got it. And that I, that's something I'm not ready to give it out. That's probably a big reason. I understand. If anybody think there's no solution to everything or uh, disease or sickness that we have, uh, again, they have been on a picnic away from planet Earth for the last century. We have, pre anything has a solution. It just, but there's not a will to bring that to usability. Don't, don't, don't get me going, please. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> you know how I feel. I, I'm sure you feel the same way. 
key. Yeah. You know it inside. Yes. But uh, right. like Len said, that's one of the things I believe. Uh, sometime from now, we will make it uh, better. We should I'm relaxing. Right I'm relaxing, Ash. I'll watch the rocket launch tomorrow. I'm relaxing. Chillaxing. I'm chillaxing. I'm chillaxing in Florida. Not there oh, yet. Nice. Almost. Nice. I'm in Georgia. All right. I was stuck on 95. I thought you were talking about me when I came on. Bad wreck on 95. Sat there for two hours. But drive safe. Yep. Thank you. And um, Julie, is it your turn yet? It, uh, it's Jennifer Dickinson in the house, uh, Manu. It's her, her mm -hmm. question. No, she had the flu, so. But you can ask. She's probably listening. She's okay. sick. Okay, I can ask. Um, it's, it's a platform was discussed in 360 for agenda scheduling. Is it just personal use or will it be business? For example, both. I managed both. 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 Okay. We should move on to the next questions. You've answered it. Um, the next one is asked uh, by someone through Chris. Hi, Chris. I have a question for Mr. Ash, if you feel it would be appropriate or valuable. I was just out on, on Passive website in O Media section. I was reading about our partnership best, uh, best moments. I noticed that it came out in February 2023. In the article, it stated that the agreement was one year and after either party could extend if agreed upon. I was just curious to know if we are indeed partner with um, Best Moment once again. Thank you for your time and consideration. Uh, may you continue to enjoy your family. Happy healing. So I answered the question, you read the question, and hello, Chris Johnson, the hero. <laughs> Someone's got to be a hero. Right? We're just the help, and he gets the hello. Who who was that? I, I think they're going too deep, reading our agreements and all of that. Uh, yeah, our our agreement is still intact, and um, I don't think this is a public matter. It's like an internal thing. Yeah, they wondered if that was an appropriate question or not. So, that some people just yeah. go too deep, and I wish one time I have the life to read my own agreements to go and read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Julie, is it your turn or you still? I think there is one more question uh, by Dr. Helene. Need to be read and signed. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, a, yeah. Um. This this question is more kind of like a private matter, and you know, so I won't read it. But uh, Dr. Helen, if you could, my uh, answer is I don't care about it. I, I, oh, that you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Why brother. Would you care? Uh, hello, brother Ash. Always blessed, uh, feeling blessed each time you come out to speak. We will. We still have pending withdrawals. Are we going to cancel that upon receiving our commission? talking about old ones old you're not going to cancel you're going to you're going to receive those then they will be marked as successful from pending to successful and then you can reload if you have commissions you can initiate another request answer twice yeah yeah you don't have to cancel uh if it's not paid unless you want to change the wallet or the method <laughs> <laughs> First man, mute yourself. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Uh, whenever uh, Menu will allow me, then I will jump in. I Hello, can, Menu. Go ahead, Julie. You wanted to say something? Yeah, there's a question uh, from one of our founders. Just minute. Stand by. Just a minute. Julie, sure. go ahead. Uh, I have just one very short question um, that you have already mentioned about Ash Bomb, but you changed that to Ash Kiss. Are we close to hearing the big Ash 
bomb or ask? That's a Julie question, yes. Uh, so, so I was, um, again, I, I have nothing but open transparency and I get in trouble for that. I don't know why people don't want you to be transparent, like your legal team and every. Why would you say that? Well, why should I say something else? Okay. So I know I'm going to get in trouble for that. So I this was set to be announced in November, believe it or not. So I'm set back nearly three months, okay, uh, from some, I'm going to say some greed. I'm not going to say who it is and all of that, okay? So that got involved that we decided to change direction, but it's not impacting the overall outcome. It's just somebody or some direction was sucking our time to somebody's advantage and we recognized that we stopped and decided to go uh, in a different uh, uh, way uh, so if you make the plan uh, the, the math I'm four months delayed on that so do some uh, quick math you will know when <laughs> thank you uh, Manu, there's one more question that... One uh, more, and then we go to Gusmander, please. That, sorry, Gusmander, just one more. It's a, it's a question I believe uh, <laughs> we all would like to know. The question was asked, what percentage founders have not subscribed to O-Connect? But if I may change that to a bit, saying what percentage of founders have subscribed to O-Connect? I'm going to have to check reports and uh, look into that. Uh, but if I'm not looking and it's not important, I don't know why it matters. But we do have uh, roughly 3 million uh, subscribers to the ecosystem. And uh, it was several hundreds uh, above, you know, uh, that have paid, uh, we've been paid. I would uh, imagine we're about a million user, paid users of OConnect. Wow. between the two the the uh, executive uh, special and the original also discounted first release all together um, probably nearly a million uh, paid customer um, obviously not all of them are founders so i never looked at the amount of founding versus not but anybody that was a founder when they activate um o connect their $99 was on the spot credited to them. Obviously, they paid 143 or 93 instead of 190 or 240 if you remember the numbers. So fewer people paid uh, the, the full price, whether the 190 or the 240 So I would imagine the vast majority are founding members of the 1 million subscribers paid members. I'm not, All again, right. I'm not chasing the numbers or the clock or the meter. I just work till it's done. Happy with the outcome. That's so, Almost four hours. I mean, we can do something. That's good, dance. Ash. Let's, uh, let's let Goose Manor go for the last one, and then we'll wrap this thing up. Minu, who's the last? Sorry? Um, Goose Manor. Julie, Julie probably has a question, too, but we we'll oh. go after Goose Manor. Go ahead, Goose Manor. Oh, Goose Manor, okay, uh, and then Julie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Menno. Uh, so, Ash, this is a question from our founder, Madhav, uh, from India. He's also an IT guy. And uh, so, two questions. Uh, the first one goes uh, is uh, that, uh, so, does O-Connect support Evergreen webinar, like in up, uh, in the upcoming ed uh, edition, like Ever Everjam or ev Evergreen webinar, those are recorded and played live, something like that? I missed that. I'm sorry. So, like the new release, which is coming, so does it support okay. uh, uh, 
like a, a recorded webinar uh, or in a, what he's written that does O Connect support evergreen webinar? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, I know, I know what he means. The evergreen is that to have a playback. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think we have this uh, in this release. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second question is that uh, uh, can we use on passive technologies while traveling? Uh, like in case of Facebook or Google, it it flags off or alert for uh, like a IP address change or something like that. So which is not a travel friendly. So does our technologies uh, has these features? While traveling, we can use our uh, uh, like uh, ecosystem. Absolutely, no, no restrictions. So it, it doesn't uh, uh, require like uh, while Google or Facebook uh, they they uh, go for a verification uh, to update the process. No, no. You, okay. It's it's if you have access and uh, you're in Canada, you come here to the states, or you go to Europe, or you go to India, or anywhere. It's your account. You should access it without a problem. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody else has something in mind that was not written, just popped up, or <coughs> triggered uh, curiosity? I, I will continue with my some question because what I another guess. hour, no problem. <laughs> no, just a simple question because uh, founding members sometimes they're confused about that. Uh, uh, what they feel, or uh, what they say that when we get traffic, so the, does that traffic is like a, a paid and unpaid both, or it's only paid? Well, initially we have roughly uh, a million paid people, right? Do the math. We have 3 million mm -hmm. guaranteed signups, not uh, just trial or anything. Uh, those are <laughs> mostly with no parents. So the, there, there's a big portion of them will be located by, by the prioritization we've talked about uh, with the the founding members who paid and in some uh, criteria we've talked about right yeah time all of that and some others and some others i wish you know they just leave on passive not just to give them traffic yeah yeah uh, i'm sure everybody can name i have a list of 52. i wish god would god would consider yeah it's a big list but not too bad that's a short list I'm kidding. Okay, yeah. but uh, <laughs> but the uh, the math is simple. Those are the first uh, giveaway. Then, on passive has other traffic. Like we have other po traffic on hold. Okay, so yeah. we release those. We don't have an account. I'm not building an account for me or for somebody. We don't have that. Even the staff are begging to have their own account so they can market because they want to share. They're passionate about that. Uh, tonight, I uh, not like earlier before this um, uh, meeting, I had uh, one business owner I spoke to in person. I, I met them quickly and they needed to. I, I was uh, uh, rushing to go to, uh, to the conference and they needed to sign up like they said that we already see and we need like, can you get I said, no, 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 let me f figure out like who I want to contact you to give you a link. That's a friend of mine, wealthy individual, successful business owner, major brand. Most of you know it, not some of you uh, in the States. OK, at least. Um, and. Um, you know, I'm blessed that he's a friend. But uh, I couldn't give him a link. So any potential traffic, we will, the first are the 2 million, plus some other pending traffic and campaign, do our events and all of that. So we'll push it also accordingly to the uh, affiliates and founding members only. We're not giving the affiliates. But after that, it will turn into paid. But 
organically anything we generate is again i don't have a link i don't share it. even somebody who's a business owner they're dying for what we have and i said no hold on i'll have somebody contact you. maybe they want those staff i'll have them maybe reach out to somebody like daryl or uh, uh uh susie who's more excited about this or been a good advocate and good uh, input uh, but eventually, if you uh, follow the details when we talked about the blockchain, that is centralizing. And when we have the data, so we become a, a big, massive directory, like where people can shop and campaign and trade everything. So we, we are the, tra the traffic. It, it's not going to be 10 years, as we discussed with Lynn. It's really in a short period of time, we will be the traffic the only traffic I like you wouldn't be interested in somebody on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I'm saying out loud. You know how much the influencers I gave the uh, you the YouTube. I think Gosminder, you know the, that you know how uh, YouTube is. Uh, they could slap anybody in a blink. I'm sure most of you suffered some discomfort with them at some point. They have no mercy. You know, the influencers, if somebody has a thousand followers, a thousand loyal followers, them following them in one of our applications, say Onet, that can turn into a residual long term income with lucrative work without having to repeat that and repeat that. And they don't have to have to sleep with one eye open scared their account could be shut down or restricted any any minute so it's only a matter of time for those influencers to come you know what influencers mean that's it you got all the traffic because everybody follows somebody right but i'm talking about those people who see that they, they see the potential with us same fellowship or, or uh, fellowship that they have they have uh, or the few viewership they have but when it becomes in the ecosystem the return on that is massive you don't need five million people to generate so and so revenue you know the numbers because multiple products SaaS products renewal residual it's crazy and then open more markets okay and they don't have to keep begging them to subscribe or watch. If they don't watch, uh, no engagement, no income. No new videos, no income. It can get cut off overnight. And some people are definitely going to feel more uh, connected with it. Like the guy that has four followers on X why don't you just text everybody on your list like if you have four followers i know somebody has four followers Chris. twitter x okay so why don't you just text them why do you have to post you understand so the logic is but if you're in on passive you're not gonna have four if you have something 40 50 400 4, 000, overnight I laugh when I see somebody like, you have five, four followers. Why don't you just text everybody? You know, <laughs> you have to paste, post it to 280 characters. Yeah. So as a, like a YouTube has a mechanism of uh, like uh, running the ads and then they have that process and then paying there. Right. So but also the, uh, the, the viewers, okay. When, when you're on the website, youtube.com or, or on the app that increases the algorithm of their publishers like when you buy so the more like you can claim how many viewers you have or this video potentially there's no number they cannot achieve everybody's watching youtube that that puts the price on them yeah so it's um it's really i'm sorry but, but let, let me keep it 
mild, it's an unfair game. So, is it a free press or no? Free speech or no? No. Okay. If it doesn't go with their policies or preference, it's not free speech. So it's they have it's a double standard. Uh, is it fair for those who work hard to build and to provide a good content or something that is wanted? Is it fair to allow slander and, you know, for the junky people to have mooch lifestyle and live on everybody else like bug? That's not right. So we want to have a cleaner environment that is more fair. You don't have to work as hard and say whatever you want. It's a closed club, you know. So those people chose to be with you. Say whatever you want, as long as there's no hate, violent, you know, illegal stuff, all of that. But we're not going to dictate your opinion. Everyone should, ha should have an opinion. We call it the free world. All right. It's not that free if, like, you have selective, <laughs> uh, like, even some terms. Because the, 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 vi the video and the audio is trained. To have. Believe it or not, uh, YouTube is one of the best systems I admire. Believe it or not, Google, YouTube, search engine, okay, both, both of them, they're, they're incredible values, incredible too. They're not the worst, they're the best, or some of the best. Talk about Facebook, I tell you how nasty they are. You are the product, you're not the user, you are the product. And on passive, you're not the product. You're not the used, you're the user and the hero. Big difference. We make you the hero. And as uh, you know, uh, uh, many oh, like there is other questions, Grossman. There, I uh, know it's later to like what Ash is talking uh, about. Uh, uh, like many in countries, there are freedom of speech is like a, if, if, if YouTubers are talking against government or certain their policies, they are being blocked, you know. And uh, so how like our platform will be different uh, because of, as a freedom of speech or whatever they want to say. Or, uh... True, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you have your club, okay, uh, take the example. We, it can be done, all right? Because people uh, want to hear something that aligns with their opinion. Anything else, it's against their will. And it's kind of like hateful to them. Uh, and that's a part of our radical ideology in a way. And that's our kind of like non-close or open-minded uh, personality. Most people, they just want to hear what they want to hear. Anything else. But our difference is our beauty. And, you know, that's something I'm not going to preach it. But if you have your closed loop, meaning you have a private club, call it whatever. You're not posting out to the public. Your club is anti the government a specific government you disagree with their politics you have the right to do that okay but internally and without abuse or without slander let me tell you the truth like the opposition or anti anything in the public i agree that you should have an opinion but i like you to be respectful in general I really don't admire somebody that starts, you know, cussing and putting things down and all that. This is my ideology in life. Okay? It's better for you to light up a candle than cussing at the darkness. 
do what's positive, positive. Why you want to focus on, you know, so and so and don't blame uh, nobody. Do what you can do as positive. But that's my opinion. And I don't think I can dictate anybody how they th think. But there are ways we can allow everybody to speak their mind in a proper way without harsh feelings, without damage, without slander, without abuse. Let's say you have a club of 25 people or 25,000 or 2 million people. Trusted, they selected, they want to hear you. They just believe in you, your, your ideology, your opinion, all of that, and you discuss something. Why not? As long as you have no harm, no uh, violence, nothing uh, of hate, say that. So there's a difference between I disagree with the president or with the government or with the cabinet or this or that, okay, on so-and-so policy. I wish they would do that, and that's not right. That's not fair. That sounds, you know, inappropriate. You could do that. I'm disappointed. You can do that. But uh, I hate the president. I cover this, that, and nasty, and cuss, and all of that, and, and you know, uh, shameful stuff. I don't think it's respectful. Say your opinion, something constructive, and and you believe it or not, you can be more heard because nobody want to hear somebody yelling at them or cussing at them, right? Insulting them. Nobody want to hear that. But if you say, you know what, I respect you, I understand, I see, I I know what you feel or what you mean, I see that. However. My club and I, my group and I, we see something different. I wish we would consider our opinion or view on this. Believe it or not, they would listen to you more. Thank you. Of course. Right, Julie uh, Pierre, you have a question for somebody, then we go to Julie um, Wynn. Thank you, Minu. Yeah. Hi, Ash. This is coming from Vanette Bruni. And um, she says, Hello, Mr. Ash. Thanks for all you do. God's blessings always. Can you please expand a bit more? on Dr. Rashid and his role in Unpassive. Thanks. <laughs> Shoe size, underwear, color, like exactly. <laughs> uh, 40 years experience in technology was my teacher 37 years ago. First exposure to the internet or to, not to the internet, to the um, computer machines. Um, well-connected globally, professor, high education. Uh, he discusses PhDs and master thesis, uh, PhD theses, and uh, many of his graduates, selected graduate uh, students are uh, following him, and uh, he's hand-selecting some of them uh, to be onboarded with us. So we're forming even a stronger team in the in AI and IT uh, because of him. So we're blessed that he's with us. Uh, we talked about him a little bit more yesterday on 360, but maybe was not recorded. Uh, he had to relocate. He's a full-time uh, AI uh, consultant with Unpassive. He wanted to sleep at the office, no joke. It's a true fact that he said I would like my bed at the office yeah. uh, and that's it I mean extremely knowledgeable well connected but you can't ask for more the law of attraction Mr. Ash yes and again he's he can do this for no money the passion uh, we go back to the same 
like curiosity why would somebody leave what they're doing and come and join on passive this is what i believe is he seeing something different yeah thank you miss julie win hi um hello mr ash i asked my question Manu. Uh, my question was about the big ash bomb which he addressed it already uh, but if I may uh, read some a very short message from engineer Mammy Claire, she said from the proverbs, uh, the the dogs bark, but the caravan goes on. Um, yep. And yep. Uh, she, you, uh, Mammy Claire, do you know Arabic? It's like al qafila tasir wal kilabu tanbah. If that's true, confirm with Julie. Or did I say it right? Perfect. It was perfect. Uh, she also said, uh, wisdom and focus, you have it all. Please tell Ash that we are all proud and pray for you daily. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. And Mr. Ron Holbert. It's your turn. Oh, man. Sorry, and, and engineering Memi Claire just reply yes, big yes. I know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, young night. man. What a night. What a night. Ron the Halbert. Ash, <laughs> Ash, first of all, we want to thank you for all the time that you've given us tonight. Uh, we are, Minnow and I are very honored that you uh, picked Letso to have this meeting tonight. And uh, it means a lot to us. Uh, your statement about everybody has an opinion and a right to the opinion is exactly correct. The only problem I have is when people have a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about on passive is everybody is equal. Doesn't matter what you do, how much you do, right? how many webinars you do a week, how many webinars you do a month. Everybody is on the same pedestal at the same height. Everybody is a leader and I'm passive. No matter if you've been here a month, five years or whatever. So uh, I think we all need to remember that. Right. That, uh, that is something you believe in, I believe, that uh, to lead, to be a leader, you have to be able to lead. And that's something you have uh, mastered in uh, your 50 years of experience. But, um, and the first I, person you need to lead is yourself. That's right. Yeah, that's so right. You have the proper character and you know what you're doing, doing it politely, respectfully, then maybe someone else is going to follow you. But if you don't lead yourself properly or you're, like you said, Ron, somebody's entitled or they just want to have a, a free lunch. Uh, you're not a leader. Leaders should That's be right. able to take a bite out of their mouth and feed it to somebody else. Exactly. But I think you've covered a lot of issues tonight that people have been wor uh, wondering about. And I'd like to say something about the police summit. That is something that really got my motor running. Uh, when I heard that news, I was so I'm still excited about it. The only thing that could excite me more if I was standing at the unpassive booth over there telling people that I'm a retired law enforcement officer and on passive is my company. And uh, for all the naysayers, you know, we have and all the bashing that the on passive has taken, I can tell you from experience that. If you're not legit, law enforcement will have nothing to do with you other than investigate you. They wouldn't have you standing beside them, sponsoring them and doing their media. So that should say a lot to the public, the people that are looking into on passive, people that have not uh, joined us in on passive that uh, we're the real deal and it's a done deal and the police departments all over the world are showing us that. So congratulations on that. 
that is a milestone that uh, not a lot of people can accomplish. So uh, kudos to uh, you and your media team and your tech team for proving to people like that, that uh, we are on top of the world. And uh, look out because we're not done yet. So again, I'd like to thank you for your time that you spent with us tonight. Uh, we pray for you, we pray for your family. Uh, we're glad that uh, your son comes up with these slogans because he does a good one. I still like the one about uh, get out, connect and broom the Zoom, or Zoom the broom. I think that was great also. Um, the chillax is a good one for you because with your stress, you need to chill and relax. And uh, I want to thank you for everything you've done for, for me, my family, and the rest of the Onpassians uh, that are here tonight and that couldn't join us. So thank you very much. And uh, if you are ready, we will uh, call this a night, a night of vision from Mr. Ash Mifara. Well, thank you, uh, Ron and everyone. Yeah. Um, wait a minute. So according to the terms and conditions in our agreement, it was up to three hours for my $4 <laughs> wage. Checks in the mail, buddy. So things have changed, okay? Uh, and Mr. Ash, I second everything that Ron said. It's absolute pleasure. It's beyond being blessed beyond belief. Thank you so much. Are you Love scared you of flight, Ron? Am I scared of what? Flight. Can you fly? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. All right. I carry well, a gun. Uh, ne next year we're gonna have. I like that, but not on the airplane. Okay. So uh, <laughs> next next uh, year, why don't you start planning uh, to be at the event? This probably was a short notice. I would love that. I would love that. Uh, so by the way, anywhere. I don't do quit, personal. Don't die. All right. <laughs> and, I do uh, personal security, Ash. Yeah, just in case, you know, to throw that in there. So. <laughs> All right. Anybody want to be your friend? Definitely. <laughs> I have again, two criminals live in my house. <laughs> hey, you said earlier, you said earlier that company will steal your children. I thought, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> I had fun. It was pleasure. It was uh, unplanned. I don't come here with a script. I mostly take notes. Uh, so things we can improve and apply. I don't have to prepare. Uh, took half an hour for DeGarmo. He's not feeling well, so we pray yeah. it will be better tomorrow uh, to, to get the list of the questions, to, and we did them on the fly. Uh, so it just, uh, there's no need to read or to prepare for something. It's second nature to me. And uh, I live for this. There's nothing else I would do in my life but this. And it's not a try, it is being done. Uh, right. there's, there's more than one plan for it to be done. So make no mistake, uh, if you think uh, it may happen or may not happen, I know for sure you're gonna die and on passive will happen. Death is guaranteed and of course taxes and... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> But the failure of on passive uh, is gonna definitely bug you if that's what you're wishing for those uh, haters. It's not an option. Uh, yes, uh, success is guaranteed for on passive because God right. seems to be in love with what we and do. And we all, we all love that you come without a script and you speak from your heart. And we can tell that, we realize that, and uh, we cherish that. So, uh, Absolutely. Everybody pray pray for the astronauts tomorrow. Four yes. of them are going up at 11 something, and it's why I'm
down in Florida, but there's going to be four souls on that rocket, and it's blasting off at eleven something. So, hopefully, who would fly on a rocket? <laughs> Sign me up. Not afraid. I'd be no. scared. Oh, I'd be scared, but I'd do it. In instead of on Apollo One, we'll have on Passive One. Yeah. Who's scared? to go on a rocket. I, I'd still go, though. I'd be scared. Strap yourself to a bomb. Who would not step on it? <laughs> I, I would, 100%. Carol, Julie. Julie said she would over here. She's on the phone now. She's getting her daughter. Jeffrey, you would go? You would, you would leave? <laughs> you said who would not step on it, right? Like yes. Who would like yeah. care to that? Like it's impossible. Yeah. I would step on it, but not go on it. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm you getting on, just, just don't me. like the fuse. <laughs> there's Bender. The G forces <laughs> might be right. hard. There's <laughs> Bender. If you took off that rocket, your turban would be a diaper by the time you got to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it for my dad. Who yes. would, do, who would ride on a rocket nerves. and go to the orbit, oh, uh, yeah. but wouldn't do a roller coaster? I hate roller coasters. I like right. roller coasters, too. If you're scared of those, you want to go I'll on a rocket? You. Oh, my God. I'll hold your bag. Hey, rocket goes up and down. Jumping One time. out of the plane would be... Okay. As you're still recording it. Yeah, but this is essential for the 